because it's time it's time to do the star rail version 2.1 i am so ready to see my queen acheron all right oh that's loud <laughs> yes ready to see my queen okay i think it's fine Two, one, zero, let's go! <laughs>、oh. Let's turn it down a little bit. As our North Hill work has a day. Hey, <laughs> Are they practicing? <laughs> I love these little tidbits. I love these. These are so fun. <laughs> Not the cardboard cutouts. <laughs> I know the way is missing. What's going on? <gasps> Not the cardboard cutout. <laughs> I saw pom pom. So there's no need to hide. <gasps> Acheron, that's my queen. I saw her. <gasps> Surely, I don't need to explain too much to you. This is Gallagher. <gasps> Here's to you, sober one, with this glass of a dream within a dream. Yo, Gallagher. It's only when the sword <gasps> is unsheathed that <gasps> those hazy memories start. I have no way. Oh my God! What? This is where it ends. <gasps> Eraser. <laughs> Oh my god! You guys! That was so cool! Holy shit, you guys! Her fucking animations are so cool already! Hi everyone! Welcome in! Hello! Welcome in, Raiders! Holy shit, we I literally just started the live stream to watch it with everyone. And we're only six minutes in, and holy shit, Acheron's Like animations are so fucking cool already. That's insane. I just started it. I haven't watched this yet, so please, no spoilers. I want to be excited and surprised about what goes on in the live stream. Razor, thank you for the raid. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I hope you had a fantastic stream and welcome in everyone. I want to see that one more. Hello everyone. It's so good to see you guys. I want to see that one more time. Holy shit. That was so cool. It's only when Holy the sword is on shit! <laughs> that those hazy memories start to become clearer. Oh my god! She's This so is where cool. it is. Fox <laughs> Studio Steam, most popular entertainment、so、center in Pentecost. She's so fucking cool. The culture of a city reflects、oh、its history、God. in the most authentic way. Point seven five speed. Why? I don't want to watch an unfast speed. Why not make the most of it with the game? High stakes, high rewards. Oh wait, that'd be slow speed. Oh. That'd be slower. <laughs> But also, why? Freaking、Easy、adventuring. Easy Robin's death as a bargaining chip. I'll ruin this. Beautiful dream <gasps> and create the grandest <gasps> dinner. Oh my god! Oh my god! Adventuring! Oh my、Ladies、god! He's literally、Angel. bringing down Pinacony! <gasps> Whoa! She's a different color! I have to pause! I'm sorry! Oh my god! Wrong! But <laughs> holy shit! Are you kidding me? What? You guys, rewind one more time, one more time. We're never getting through this. Holy shit, he's like a boss. Entertainment center in Pentecost. The culture of a city reflects its history in the most authentic way. Oh, oh my god! Why not make the most of it with the game? Okay, maybe adventuring is cooler than he seems. <laughs> maybe adventuring is actually cooler than he seems. Look at these like animations; they're all Gamba animations. Using Robin's death as a bargaining chip, I'll ruin this beautiful dream. Holy shit! And create shit. the grandest dinner. 
create the grandest death. Everyone's fighting him. Acheron! Bro, bro! This is, this is Acheron's point of view, right? You guys? She has different colors. She's red and black and white in this one. <laughs> oh yeah, adventuring does kind of seem like Gilgamesh. Whoa, frame by frame is this? Oh my God, the, the, wait a minute. Are these Oni horns? <gasps> Are these Oni horns? Guys, I haven't played HI3. Oh, it's okay, you guys. It's okay, you guys. I don't think we're gonna be able to avoid... Hold on, hold on. My mods are trying to protect me from HI3 spoilers. But you guys, I'm gonna be honest. I don't think it's gonna be avoidable to... Uh... <laughs> it's gonna be avoid it's gonna be not avoidable. So it's okay. You don't have to Bruh. you don't gotta you don't got to, it's okay. Um I've been playing HI3. I have. I, I literally started this week. Oh my god. I saw Ventry holding something. He Bruh. had like an egg. Wasn't that the egg that he had? Hi guys. It wasn't it the egg that he was talking about at the beginning? He had like some sort of uh he laid an egg yeah bro he laid an egg i i think it was the relic he was talking about at the very beginning is this is crazy all right yeah the all right let's see holy shit oh <gasps> sunday what is sunday tapping on here what's going on Monday. <laughs> Bro, then there's like this weird box. Wait, that's Himiko's drone. Oh, Himiko's right there. What's in the box? Oh, we're actually going frame by frame. Listen, I don't want to miss anything. <laughs> What's in the box? Everyone's here. I see March. I see... I see Kalis. Is that Kalis? And then... Well is to the right. And that's her, that's her pizza cutter. But then like, these are, this is adventuring's like Gamba tokens. <gasps> the hat? Whose hat is this? Wait, is this the hat from early on where uh, Kalos and adventuring were dancing? What? Don't ask us my well obviously i don't want you guys to spoil stuff like it obviously i i don't want you guys to spoil stuff like just be just be like dang okay react with me don't don't <laughs> you know <laughs> it's nothing personal it's just i want to be excited too you know you guys got up early and you guys got to enjoy the live stream i just i want to be able to enjoy it too Dude, that's crazy. What the fuck? It's like, uh... Oh my god, I'm so curious. Holy shit, the look in her eyes. I know. Oh my god. Okay, okay. We gotta, we gotta go more. She's entering her villain arc. Yeah, me too, to be honest. <laughs> Who is this, like, weird... What? Who is this kid? Oh. This is crazy. This is insane. Acheron is like a completely different person. Oh my God. Oh my God. Holy shit. This is insane. We really... <gasps> <laughs> Holy shit! The 
That's insane! The fucking teardrop! Your cards. Oh my god! Oh, okay. Holy shit. Dude, this is insane. She looks badass. Okay, I'm pulling so much for Acheron. <laughs> it's like a blood teardrop. That's insane. Holy shit. Wow, that's fucking insane. All right, live stream's over already. I'm pulling for Acheron. <laughs> live stream's over. I don't even need anything else. Hey, push it. Yeah, she cried when we met her. Hey, 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 the way. Right? The way. That's insane. I'm so excited already for 2.1. That's fucking insane. Welcome. <laughs> His spirit is with us. Yo, Adventuring looks... Okay, as much as I don't like Adventuring, he looked kind of sick as a villain. It's Blade! <laughs> oh my god, it is Blade! I didn't even notice. Hey, sorry, we have a viewer that wants me to calm down, so we're gonna actually, uh, we're gonna very, uh, we're gonna react like this now. Wow. Wow, guys. That's cool. Wow, that's Blade, you guys. Isn't that crazy? Wow. Um, actually, you know, I don't even know what's going on here. So let's just, uh, let's go back and watch Acheron. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I'm excited. Oh, cool. That's crazy. Wow, version 2.1. Shut up, dude. I'm, I'm excited. Could it, 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 <笑>小小偏差毕竟我是完全知道后面会发生什么的 I do like the fact that there's like a lot of suspense in Pentacone. Yeah, he meant hold some time. This is the fifth time he pulls it. We fall for it every time. Akron looks amazing. No, the, the Fates Atlas was such a good change, you guys. It's like a minor upgrade to the multi narrative performance. Anyone could be lying. That's so true. Dude, I assume everyone in Pinnacone is hiding something. Yeah, the, the ending did it. Hold on, hold on. Did any of you guys actually do the ending where you decline the door? Because I, I did not. I had to go back and play it, and I was like, holy shit, they actually did that to people. The different, the, the alternate endings was actually kind of cool. That was a really cool thing. <laughs> Yeah, everyone really is looking out for themselves. <laughs> sparkles just sparkle. <laughs> now she's the most honest person, no. So, this will be the most Sparkle's the most honest person in Pinnacone. Okay, for real, for real. You want to enter it if you keep refusing, something really incredible might occur. Wait a minute, what? If you keep refusing Acheron, what happened? You guys, uh, I didn't know there was something different. 
Isn't that what they just said? The red text forces you to accept her. It does? Well, I know the red text is like different for people, but I thought it was just I thought it was just different responses. She just forces you to accept her. Damn. Okay. Very大家热情讨论的氛围，真的很开心。项目组撒满了阳光，在这儿阳光了是吧？是的，我们的玩家啊，真的很热情，就像刚才超级老师说的，让我们拥有了直视太阳的权利。那我后面的主线，What was that again? Oh, wow. The devil in velvet. What a badass name for this chapter. All the sad tales. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? Well, that's interesting. Dude, were they trying to give us like the most heartbreaking, depressing shit for the anniversary? Like for real? <laughs> Sun and walk towards the light included in our script. <laughs> no, no, they said that's how we're happy. They have words like sun and walk towards the light included in the script. What a what a wholesome happy story, you guys. <laughs> <笑>但开拓的无名客绝对不会屈服于未知 yeah, don't forget your redemption codes. Let me uh, grab them. Make sure you guys do these today because they'll expire tonight. I still can't believe he's gaslighting us that it was supposed to be all fun and wholesome. He was like, nah, sorry guys, it was just a misunderstanding. Yeah, you can redeem them on Ho uh, Hoyo Lab as well. I think we pinned them in our Discord. I'm grabbing them real quick for you guys. There. There's the new codes. Make sure you guys claim the new codes. <clears throat> Are you sure about that? <laughs> okay. Oh, let's go back one. I fucked up. Alright, we'll just wait. Gives me a minute to get some water. What's going on? Why is there double text? <laughs> Did this happen for everyone? <clears throat> I have YouTube text on. YouTube text? It's, I don't have YouTube text on. There's Scott, they fucked up. Wow, Hoyo verse, get your shit together. It's an Acheron bug. <laughs> Dude, Akron looks amazing. That was insane. They started us off with like a crazy, like, Akron expose. We're bewildered, yes. I could be bewildered. It's not like I can say everything without spoiling. <laughs> Yes. 
角色卡的时候，就我们很高兴啊，然后觉得这些角色。I can't believe they were so they were they were all excited about this part of the story too. 然后呢，就脑子已经有很多想法了。That's really awesome. I love seeing、uh, I love seeing people that work on these games being just so excited and、uh, really into it. 图是虚无。呃，对，因为一些不可言说的原因，总而言之，最后他的战斗命途就变成了虚无。啊，对。Yeah, it's really awesome to see them talking about it. 很虚无，虚无它是什么呢？对吧？就他平时也不干什么。所以自然而然的也尝试用一种取巧的办法吧，比方说想要去打破一些思维的墙，然后去放大无这个概念。那牵扯而言就有过许许多多的脑爆和畅想，比方说，呃，他没有速度的概念。他 She has no concept of speed. She doesn't appear on the action bar. Maybe she has no concept of type. So they they really have had to like come up with ideas on how how to build these characters in a unique way. And to like build her personality and and kit. On the word fade, dude, devs are so creative. Dude, devs are so creative. 其实各位应该能够很明显的看到，在他的这个里面有许多像牧羊女帝，这些女帝简直出的色彩都会褪去，在黑白世界中是有一种红色，它是因为真实的花朵，他们呢会以红圈为中心去绽放在这样一个黑白的世界里。呃，当时设想的画面就是黄泉不自言站在一片萧瑟的荒原上，呃，整个世界只有黑白二色，那阴云密布，然后大雨从天而降，呃，那连绵的细雨其实是黑色的，如墨水一般浓稠厚重，呃，他们。坐向大地，然后所及之处的色彩都会被这些雨水一一带去，最后只留下黑白灰。但可是，在对这样一个失色的世界当中，会有那么一滴。There'd be a drop of pure crimson. I'm a sucker for these kinds of like designs, and it would color her whole being in red, making her only <gasps> making her only a splash of red in a monochrome world. That is so powerful. I love getting insight into how they they design this character. <gasps> That's so nice to see.、Uh, that's so sick. We found it perfect for Akron's character. That's sick as hell. That's amazing. No wonder she's holding a red umbrella now. Yeah, that's what Akron said too. This actually wasn't the most nihilistic design. Definitely the version when she uses her ultimate. And the whole game crashes. <laughs> she was too strong, boys. The game would just crash. She's too strong. She must be stopped. Look, it's pretty cool. Very meta. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Acheron took care of in a seemingly miraculous way. How did she do it exactly? Yeah, where's Duke Inferno? <laughs> What? So she blasted something like that. <laughs> Oh, look at the room change! Which was a fading visual effect in some scenes. So she started blasting. Causes time to freeze. Raindrops are severed. Ah, in the atmosphere, there will be some changes in the speed of speed. Then, if you're so cool, let's introduce Hans' teacher to show us his battle skills. Yeah, she just swung her sword and he died. 到目前为止啊，制作难度最高的角色了啊，没有之一。嗯，平静而论没有。It's a stream over. She ended it. 他的整体的技能。Oh my god. Okay, I'm I'm fucking excited. 破碎的感觉啊，然后这也是我们想传达的一种感觉，就是在他强大的一种力量的背后，他是一个空虚和孤独这样一种感觉。然后呢，当他释放战绩的时候。Holy shit! Holy shit! Oh my god! 
When the target takes action, inflicts a debuff on the enemy, Akron will gain a charge. Okay. So there's other ways to get charges. Yeah, dude, she doesn't have like an ultimate, I guess. Like, like well, her ultimate is different, rather. Well, she does, but. Can also accumulate charges. Dude. Yeah, no energy bar, rather. Yeah. <laughs> they, called, they called the frigid prowler the the ice robot. The the what did they just say? The chubby. Hold on, I forget the chubby guy. I don't know how to. I don't know how to go back faster. Look at him. He's a bird. He's turned into a bird. He's just flying his best life. Look at him go. Look at him go. Quee, quee. Chubby ice guy. Heheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheh
嗯，然后呢，就黄泉它的秘籍啊，也是非常特殊的。你可以想象一下，就你在探索过程中，看到前面有只怪，然后黄泉啪一个秘籍，直接就把那个目标给斩杀了。She exploded the monster. What do you mean instantly? Insta killer. You can slay the monster without entering battle. Are you fucking serious? If I can use it in the魔力宇宙，可以用的，必须能用，不然能做它干什么？挺牛的啊！啊，那可能，那我那我岂不是一刀一个 ？They really said try me. They said fuck the game. We're gonna do whatever we want. 不满就算了吧，不满就算了吧。不满挺可爱的。Not the trotters. 对对对，感觉这个秘籍还真的挺长的，有点超过我的预想了。对，然后为了匹配这个角色呢，就能突出他的一个战斗的一个爽快感。That's insane. 你在地图前面发现有好多小怪的时候，啊，你用秘籍，它可以连续点。啊，点完之后呢，他会使出一套丝滑的小镰刀，啊，对对对对，这样的攻击。我听到这个设计，我就特别想。What? This guys, this is insane. Are you kidding? It doesn't work on the big boys, but you can just mow down the little guys. 你用秘籍，他可以连续点。啊，点完之后呢，他会使出一套丝滑的小镰刀。That's insane. The color changes back and forth are insane as well. And and it works on SD. That's insane. Holy shit. 连砍的感觉招式感觉会很爽。That's crazy. 七巧零食感觉就不太够用。Trick snacks may not be enough. Yeah. We optimized the technique. 我们在黄泉秘籍中做了一点小小的优化。啊，就是他的秘籍在不知道秘籍点的时候是故意要秘籍点的。如果长期的秘籍在特殊设计的时候，有没有遇到一些误击或者阻碍？ They said the tech points will won't be consumed unless it hits. I think, right? 这么强烈的秘籍在当初设计的时候，有没有遇到一些问题或者阻碍？比如说，有没有和？其他组的同事打打架，肯定会有，因为他们当时就开了很久的会嘛。啊，不过最后你放心，毕竟战斗设计我们打赢了。哦、oh, ，战斗设计亲自上场战斗是吧？啊<笑>，开玩笑，就当时在设计的时候啊，就其实还是受到挺多阻力的。由于这个黄泉的效果确实太厉害了嘛，它可以直接秒杀一些小怪，对吧？然后尤其是在那个魔女宇宙里面，那个打那个黄泉，嗯、呃，或者说打那个致谢的时候啊，大家一上来都会觉得那小怪特别强，特别难，对吧？对，黄泉可以直接去给他们消灭掉。有些同学会觉得就这样可能会干扰到玩家的一个。Okay, this would disturb normal gaming experience. After several rounds of discussion, felt that since we design things like this, it should be usable. So they, even they thought that it was gonna be game busting, but they just said, "Eh, we designed it like this, so fuck it." It's OP, but it's cool as fuck, so fuck it. 我是聊了这么久，我一直有个问题想问，就我们都知道黄泉这个名字不是他的本名，那他真正的本名到底是拗口的名字呢，还是不拗口的名字呢？我看你也不用问的这么拗口，<笑>也不用这么绕，直接就，呃，我觉得可以大大方方让他们一起讲嘛。二零一版本的版本 PV 当中，其实也有许多令玩家非常在意的画面，其中就包括那个，呃，对，有一幕。嗯 There's a girl who looks a lot like Akron, but has horns on her head. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Seems to have a strong connection to her past. They might ring a bell to all you HI3 players. Those horns are actually different. The whole Hongkai universe and the setting it's in is all-encompassing, full of all kinds of possibilities. We can encounter familiar faces in one different world after another, and from that we can have some little surprises that are all unique to the Hongkai IP itself. But fear not. Hmm. Whether you're a long-time player. Or new player. When it comes to Akron's character and Pinnacony's story, plus the narrative surprises we've hidden within, will make it easy for everyone to experience the same kind of fun. Multiversal counterparts, maybe. Then you might uncover little surprises that might make you experience familiarity or nostalgia with a knowing smile. No, 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 no. Everything I've learned from HI3 so far, you guys, anytime you smile at me, I know shit's about to go down. So that familiar smile, I know, is a cover up for the heartbreak and the destruction that lies underneath.
感动或者是快乐的话，也不妨与他人去分享你的喜悦，我也是我们所乐见的一种结果。哦，就好像是之前我们在二点零剧情上线的时候，看到大家已经有关于这方面的一些讨论了。没错，是的。哎，我看到他的待机动作里面还有一个吃桃子的动作。Why she like damn? Why she like the peaches? What is it with the peaches? Is it just her favorite? Can she cook? We have the same expectation. We have the same expectation. Jin cook, but she couldn't find the kitchen. Can she cook? Why do we keep asking? 当黄泉出现在当时，就是呃 ，TJ 手抱 PP 的这个背景谈话里面的时候，就是非常期待他和瓦尔特的会面。这些内容都会在二点一以及之后的剧情当中逐步向大家展现。Finger meat with well. Wait, that'll be interesting. Wait, you guys. She she hasn't met well yet in the in like two point. Two point right? That's that's gonna be crazy. That's gonna be crazy. 会会会，呃，甚至二点一会有黄泉线，就是他和瓦尔特同行的一段小小的冒险吧。Which is a surprise the adventure she's gonna embark on with Will. 总结吧，就黄泉，无论剧情层面还是战斗层面，都是。How should I put this? 该怎么说？在他身上尝试的种种，其实也为《星球铁桥》探索了更多的可能性，可以应用于我们之后更多内容这样创作，可以说是呃留下了非常多开创性的经历吧。作为整个故事的主要角色之一。And she will have to continue significant presence not only in 2.1 but 2.2 and 2.3. She's huge. She is 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 huge. A myriad Celestia? What? What? Holy shit, this is gonna be insane! You guys, bro, y'all thought that they couldn't do better, but they can! They always fucking can! Oh my god! This artwork is insane! I never thought that. <laughs> For a second, I thought it was Nikkei. This is insane. <gasps> oh my god, I'm so excited. I think Acheron might be my favorite character of all time now. The fucked up destroyed background? I know. They... This is crazy. They're gonna destroy the universe. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't even know how to react. I swear to god, this entire time... It's literally, I'm just like, what? <laughs> what? Oh my God. That's insane. This is a, I would use this as a wallpaper. They should release this. I would use this as a, what? <laughs> That's like my reaction is just, what? <laughs> they should release this as a wallpaper. I'm actually using like, I'm using uh, some artwork of Black Swan right now, but I would use this as a fucking wallpaper. Blady's gone. I'm no longer a Blady fan. I'm Acheron fan. Ah! 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 Oh my god, they're dancing! <laughs> my beloved! Holy shit. Acheron and Black Swan together. Oh my god, they're 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 hot. Excuse me. Are you asking me? She kissed her hand! Oh my god, Acheron and Black Swan! Oh my god! Holy shit, I'm so excited! Again! What? What? 
They're kind of perfect together. They're kind of perfect together. We get to see their dance. I know. How about a dance? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm fiending. Oh my god. I love them. Please. Holy shit. Excuse me. Are you asking? Oh. Oh my god. That's crazy. <gasps> what the fuck? Was that. Wait. Is this the eye that's on the meme lord? It looks like it looks like the meme lord eye. What did you see, Black Swan? Oh my god, that's sheer terror. <gasps> the sheer terror. Holy fuck. That's crazy. Yeah, I think I feel like she was trying to look into something she should not have been looking into. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. Holy shit. She saw some dank memes in there. <laughs> she probably saw how many she saw she saw the profit the profit count from Acheron's release. Blown away by it. Dude, I venturing as a villain, I actually like him so much more now that he's just like kind of being shown as just like the baddie. Yeah, even that's insane. Like she, she even saw something that is like just terrifying to her. I feel like that's kind of crazy. I'm very excited. Black Swan in 2.0. I feel like I don't want to miss stuff, so I keep pausing. I don't normally do this, but I feel like in 2.0, Black Swan was presented as just like this super all powerful, untouchable goddess, right? Just like how she shows up in the TVs and saves us. And like, I don't know. She just like, they present her as this just like untouchable, I don't know, god. <laughs> and that animated short just showed her in a vulnerable, almost looking terrified position. And that's crazy to me. Like, I can't fucking wait. In the past, in the past, in the past, in the past, the first time, in the past, the first time, the first time, the first time, the first time, the first time,同属于一个组织，就是战略投资部的实行室人。但是相比托帕而言，他的行事手段也好，谈嗯，展露出来的气场也好，呃，和托帕那样子一种公事公办当中带一点善意的，其实并不相一样。嗯，沙金更多透露
。刚才说了这么多，总归到一点，就是沙丁这个人是非常渴望拥有财富的。Mm-hmm. 他的所作所为其实都是为了积累财富，然后呃，包括你去看他去挥霍财富，<笑>就完全能够看出来这个人对于财富有一种。可以说是近乎病态的执着，在他的那个视角看来，就是有这样一个信条叫呃风险越高回报越高，所以他也是通过这样一种铤而走险的方式去积累了这样一个大量财富。然后在这一点上， it is, it is very interesting that um uh that they were able to make even though、uh, Topaz and Aventurine both working for the IPC, it is very interesting they're able to make very very different characters under the umbrella of the IPC with different motivations and everything. I I'm, I really like that. I I didn't like Topaz at first, but she grew on me. So I feel like I feel like Zesterine may actually grow on me quite a bit.、Um, but we'll see. We'll see. 他看出来就是他的一个视觉元素里面很明显有筹码有投资，那非常多的概率概率对概率概率统学的特别好。是的，是的。呃，等到这个新版本上线以后，你可以观察一下他的短信签名啊，我们在那里布置了一些。比较有趣的信息，嗯，也许在大语言本身就是一场，我们之前这样一种风险游戏，但似乎他是挺乐在其中的。I kind of appreciate the, the I kind of appreciate how much they put into Aventurine. They gave him such a unique role and unique personality. They gave him such a unique role and unique personality. They gave him such a unique role and unique personality. They gave him such a unique role and unique personality. They gave him such a unique role and unique personality. They gave him such a unique role and unique personality. They gave him such a unique role and unique personality. 列车组开拓者和沙丁之间关系会走向何方了？和他交朋友，不知道怎么想象。我可以想象到，我和他交朋友，我肯定会让他帮我买大乐透。<笑>你别说，其实就是无论是在二点零还是在二点零里面，沙丁的很多选项都，他都不用帮你买。大乐透，他会直接给你，直接给你，对，是的，是的，是的，所以，所以相关剧情选项里面，其实各个玩家也一定要尤为注意。请给我来一打这样的朋友。是是，这里可以剧透的是，还有类似的桥段。哦，那可要把握好机会了。如果二点零错过了，二点一可别，千万再错过了。一个实打实的风险爱好者，但是却踏上了存户命途，的确很有意思。那让我们来一起看看他战斗时候的表现吧。OK， we're about to do the character review for this， but I do have to， I've been pausing my ads the whole time for like an hour， so I don't want you guys to get lost in ads。Your friends with it. Remember, he calls you friend. Yeah, that's kind of sussy, though. That's not a real friend, you know. That's a little sussy. <laughs> He's actually kind of cool, as far as like now that I'm putting some thought into it and like them explaining、uh, how they designed him and like everything they put into him. I'm actually kind of like, I'm actually kind of excited because he he is actually pretty. Uh, it sounds like there's more to him. And I'm excited to see that, especially with all this like teaser stuff with him like being someone we confront in the story. So getting really tragic backstory vibes from him. I feel like I I don't know. I wonder if because、uh, like his they've hinted a little bit at his background a little, but yeah. And his VA really helped his character. Dude, his VA nailed it with the、uh, the the character personality. Don't trust him. I know he's a snake. The Zesterine is a snake. I'm excited though. I can't wait to kind of like see more from him and see all this stuff. I'm gonna grab some water real quick because my voice is uh, my voice is going out a little bit, and I I uh, I want to let the ads go before we continue. So give me just a minute. I'll be right back.
<laughs> Guys, I'm trying to convince Logix to react to Acheron's animations and he's like, what do you mean? I don't know anything about this game. <laughs> you got to convince him. He's got to understand why I need these characters. He has to understand why I need them. That's not water. It's a monster. <laughs> Sheesh. Well, come look. You'll understand after you see this. Ready? What if I need one too? <laughs> You're not allowed to need one. Only I need one. Hold on. Okay, we're at 33. Someone mark it. We're at 3301. You're not allowed to need it. We can't afford both of us needing it. Where's it at, guys? It's somewhere in here. Yeah, this is her. So this this is her 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 kit. Well, I guess you don't even need the headphones. You just gotta look. Logic just doesn't play. No. That's her. That is her. Like I know so little that I thought I was looking at the enemy and I was like I was about to say wow you get dogs now. No, 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 no. Okay, this is the character Acheron. Okay. She's about to come out. She looks nice. She's a badass. She's a badass. So this is this is her her skill. This is. Hold on. Hold on, boys. We gotta I thought go. They're getting popos now. We're excited. not getting popos. Why not? I. That's actually a good <laughs> question. <laughs> actually, good question. Why aren't we getting popos? So this is this is her skill. She unsheaths, and then literally she goes so fast it makes multiples oh, wow, of her in time, nice. and then she, they they consume each other, catch up. And literally uh, cut a hole in space. Isn't that kind of cool? Oh, no, yeah. I mean, she's breaking a couple laws in physics. <laughs> she really yeah, is. She's setting her own path in the world. She really do be. And then uh, this, no, this is her no, special. This is like her uh, ultimate. She literally uh, transforms. Goes uh, demon uh, mode. She goes psycho uh, mode. Uh, that is nice, isn't it? Boom. It is crazy. They literally said, they literally said that when they made her kit, it was crashing the game because there was so much. It's like, it's like a lot of particles going on. It's badass though, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice. This is like the coolest thing ever. Like, a, she literally transforms uh, into demon mode. Hopefully you understand my obsession now. No, I get it. I, just, <laughs> I, just, I, just, I still want dogs. I'll play with the dogs. <laughs> Wait, there's Peppy. He just wants his own Peppy. Pet dog. <laughs> he just wants a little. Numby is a dog, kind of. <laughs> Numby is a pig. <laughs> All right, I think we were at what? 33 or 31? I think we're at 33, 10. That's badass. 3301, okay. Come on, go backwards. There we go. That was crazy though. She's insane. Uh, she literally is insane. Absolutely crazy. Yeah, it was a roulette wheel. A stackable special shield. Hi, Kibu! Line bet? Same as Demon Time, yeah. Wait! He is, he's a preservation with follow-up attack? 
In other words, simply getting hit with the shield can result in his follow-up attack? <laughs> what? And then his follow-up attack applies shields. What the fuck? <laughs> Oh my god. 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 Oh my that's crazy. So he's gonna be he's gonna be good as a preservation character. There's no way he's not a good preservation character for most teams. That's crazy, Gamba in a Gamba game. That's crazy. He's gonna get stackable shields. He's gonna increase crit damage with his like uh debuff on his ultimate. He's him. <laughs> he's gonna have his own follow-up. Definitely great. He's gonna be a good yeah, poor Japard who? Okay, so blind bet is the... Yeah, it's just That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, kind of. Kind of like Japard and March. So I feel like, I feel like Zesterine is going to be a really good sustain. <laughs> Yeah, the AOE follow-up attack. Deals damage with single enemy. Dude, the, ga the gamble, the freaking gamble animations are so over the top. Unlimited coin works. <laughs> He will be great for the, the... Yeah, now we just need a healer to just follow up. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna fit well with a lot of those. Pink swan. <笑>这个当时是怎么想的设计的呢？这个的话，其实沙金这个角色比起公司高管，我们更想传达的是一个狂热的概率游戏爱好者。概率学的很好，对，所以他现在有了这样的一个相关的设计。最早我们其实设定
他会闪避，那是不是会非常难？ Oh, that would have been fun. 还真说对了，<笑>所以同样的，在 That would have been terrible as a kid to fight against. 当角色没有办法做闪避的时候，<笑> That would have been funny though. It kind of would have suited him. 闪避吗？那当然也不行了。最后做出来发现，闪避这种东西，放到一个怪物身上，可能就是一个纯粹的。I'll get both. 负面体验嘛，你想象一下，对。Video is just adventuring, dodging bullets left and right, and then it cuts all the rest of the team behind him, riddled with bullets. <laughs> 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 Literally what they said. But, <laughs> 无论如何，就是你说到了一点，就是在二点一版本当中，沙金会和开拓者同样进行一场切磋。所以我们在二点一版本会看到这位恶魔，就是 Boss 怪物的恶魔，叫石金石火也可以看到他的形象其实是和我们的角色有交集的。呃，为什么沙金会展露出这样的形？That's actually badass, you guys. He's extra spicy, Zesterine. Yeah, we saw it in the White Knight cinematic. But seeing him in the battle is actually kind of badass. The Gamba fight. That image actually is with our character has a big impact. Uh, why Shaolin Monk is showing this kind of character? I'm excited for that. Two reasons: he and Kaito are having a friendly match. They call it a friendly match. <laughs> sure, a friendly match. Sure, sure. Uh huh. So, two these things will be played out in the two part of the story. Not so friendly. I feel like we always have to play a game with our good friends. 你就告诉我，再确认一下，他的确不会闪避，对吧？啊，没有没有没有，这天已经被我们干掉了啊。那取而代之的是什么<咳>？呃，就还是那个样子，我们在其他的方面实现了这样一个概率。有钱东西。Mobile game, by the way, <笑>对对 yeah, that's crazy. 在沙金战斗的时候呢，他会时不时的倾斜出大量的一个虫子来攻击啊。Occasionally unleash a torrent of chips to attack the players. That is so on brand for him. 去和玩家进行一个叫。比大小、比点数的这么一个环节、啊，毕竟它是一个就是擅长概率游戏的人嘛。Yo, what's with the crazy numbers in the background? 那我的这个点数是随机的吗？还是我没有办法去进行一些控制？ Do we have a way to manipulate them? 嗯，是这样的，就是沙金他会呃，投资出两个或者多个投资在场上。对，当你攻击了投资之后呢，啊，你就会获得一个随机点数了。You have to get it. You have to get your points higher than him to win. Sixty-nine, nice. <laughs> Yo, that's actually kind of cool. What the fuck? Hi, hello. So, 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 有一点非常的有趣，就我们在第一次玩山白河的时候，就最后留下的一个结果就是，其他的人都离他而去了，最后只剩下他一人。我觉得这就可能就是一种命运使然。我不好讲这句话是什么意思，但是可能几天以后大家就能明白这句话当中的一个几乎位。反正我听到这一幕的时候，有些感慨吧。不管怎么样，我觉得作为一个。呃，明显抱有着很强的个人目的以及这样的复杂过去来到皮诺康尼的人，嗯，沙金一定也有自己非常想要去寻找或者想要去寻得的某种事物，那就祝他能够最终能够得到吧，应该能得到的，对吧？一切都在他的计划之中啊，毕竟是擅长这种概率游戏的男人。That's really cool. Yeah, I I love that. That's actually super unique. Gallagher, yeah. Let me see my boy Gallagher. Rugged and rugged, mature man. He's a lover, not a fighter, boys. He's a lover, not a fighter. Pino Kani, 唯一指定仆从，就你在各种。狼人杀局势分析的视频里面，你甚至都找不到这个人。Oh, interesting. He's ordinary and plain. Excuse you. That's hot. Excuse you. He's perfect. 做好职业职责，身上没有任何可疑的地方。就包括你看，就我们前两个角色，那又是全新又是。An ordinary, plain, mature man in this game. Simple, modest, reassuring. Oh my God! What more could you want? 代表皮诺康尼，最能代表家族协约大典氛围的这样一个角色。哦，他也是一位调饮师。呃，他擅长，诸如说，就是调制汽水，对美梦特调饮品这样子一些。
嗯，也会随身携携带一些就是有止痛功能的这样一种液体。But pain relieving properties,、uh, no way they're gonna make his kit. 比方说， based on drinks, drink making. 看见有人在讨论这样一位治安官，他总是在不经意的角落出现，然后但是会出现在每一个地方，然后受到各种小众的批评，一种暗夜英雄的感觉。嗯。嗯、呃，关于他的那个小爱好，呃，其实最初我们想调的是另外一种小麦饮品了。哪种小麦饮品？不会是贝洛伯格那种吧 ？Not that b e l l a b o x s t u f f 哎呀，其实就是调酒师了。I'm not sure. I don't think we've I've、嗯、I've、uh, looked at. We haven't gotten to the part where they talk about those yet. 文化衍生而来的，包括他信奉的名字也都是鸡尾酒的名字，但本身因为是嗯，皮诺康尼。想有一些当地的特色，然后就觉得说这样一个呃中年很有故事的中年大叔， yeah, I feel like well, I feel like the dog statues are just part of the、uh, bloodhound family security system. It doesn't seem like he drinks. Wait, 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 wait
They literally just turned him into Wolverine. That's insane. The way he adjusts his tie. It'll put all enemies in a special debuff and deal damage to all enemies at the same time. And then when his allies or even himself attack the target, they recover HP. He's four star Luocha, boys. He's he may be an old dog, but he still got some bite. I love it. Holy shit. Throw hands instead of potions, right? So we just want to give Healing spells or wound bandaging, but he has the uh, but he still has like the other heal. I was soul glad. Have a hurt, have a soul glad. Have a hurt, have a soul glad. Wheat-based drink igniting? His ultimate also enhances his next basic, too. They really said, they really said he powered up by having a drink. Oh, damn, he stabs him with it and pulls that shit out! Why is it Wait a minute, are they trying to say, are they trying to say that they, they were just messing with us or really they just didn't even want to give my man a backstory? Secrets and lies. Oh, they actually said secrets but Sincerely secretive. That's so cool. Here's the light comes with boosted rates. In the award, okay, Chobo is my pull from the. What? Her light cone. Dude, it's like the upside down reflection in the monochrome world. What? He has no story. Raises a death flag. Don't say that. My boy Gallagher is gonna survive. Holy shit, that's kind of badass. Will you pull for a light cone? Yes. Look at it. How do I not pull for that? That's badass. Holy shit. He can die. He's got the cold. He can't die. He's got the cold one on him. <laughs> Dude, that's fucking cool. That's badass. Okay, so Gallagher is gonna be on Acheron's. Banner? Fuck yes! You get Don Hung and Pela and then Gallagher. Oh wait, was that was it? Good night, sleep well. Hold on. Was it good night? Is it good night, sleep well? Post op and subscribe for more. Is the uh... finally? I actually, I actually only after all this time, I only have an S four. Good night, sleep well. Finally, that's so good. Okay. Okay, and then this is uh Zesterines. Looks like uh Lynx, Luca, and Serval. And then I think the top one is I don't know what the top the top one's one of the newer light cones, right? And then Fuck, I don't remember what the second one is. And then Clamor is the third one. The second one is the brilliant one, isn't it? New, it's the new one? Oh, it's new, new, yeah. The one, it's one of the healing ones. Yeah, the, the second one is Abundance. Yeah, I just never use it. <laughs> that is where all the good night sleep well went. I'm missing a single copy. Yeah, it'll be on the, the... Oh, is that what it's called? Shared feelings? Yeah, I think that's right. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Oh. Luocha 
watch a rerun with Acheron? <laughs> they really did it to y'all. Damn, damn, okay. Damn, okay. It, they really did it to everyone. They put Luocha with fucking Acheron. Ouch. Ouch. And then Jing Liu? Jing Liu with Zesterine? Dang, okay. No food. I'm surprised. I'm actually surprised. Luocha, who I got Scooby Doo? <laughs> Yeah, you don't need Luota. You can get Gallagher while you get Acheron. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, this was a this was a weird matchup, I think, um, for the reruns, but it is what it is. Yeah, Jing Liu after Acheron. That that sucks. <laughs> Probably because it's anniversary, but no P character to celebrate. Yeah, it just it's just on a considerate level. I feel for you guys. I'm never gonna financially recover. Okay, so this is the new the new icon. Sunday and Robin in their childhood. It's Acker over. <laughs> it's Acker over for us, boys. That's crazy. We're only halfway through this. I'm so fucking slow at watching these things. That's insane. I want the redheads get up even if it's tacky. Wait, are you talking about... Are you talking about Gunaifans? What redhead? Himiko? Gunaifan? I'm gonna aim for Akron E1 or E2 or E6 Gallagher. My piggy bank will have no jingle. Luca? Oh, Luca. The IRL dude. Oh, IRL dude. Wait. IRL dude? I was one of them. Redhead? Full pass? <laughs> it's almost over. Wow, 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 wow. I'm so excited. Uh, <laughs> oh, it broke my, it broke my model, hold on. I just humph to the next world. Whoops. Damn, when you humph too hard. <laughs> hey there, folks on the screen. No! What is this? It's me, Clocky's trusty sidekick, Hamster Ball Knight. So today, let me, the most commercially valuable spheroid racer in the history of Penacony, show you the brand spanking new area that's about to open. Let's go, 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 go! Located <laughs> in Penacony's golden hour, Clock Dude. Studios theme park is centered around the beloved animated icons of Penacony. Bro, these rats that yes, they keep that giving us. Me, the Hamster Ball Night No, well. not another what cartoon! Is there are other amusement parks out there with rodent characters? This hamster knows nothing about that. Look at this rat the behind me. The park split into three themed zones. Clocky Screening Area, Hamster Ball Park, and the Hanu Gang Base. At Hamster Ball Park, you'll find the mini all the games sound fun, actually. Animation. You'll get to play the role of producer, where you'll film a clocky spin-off animation <gasps> starring me, titled <laughs> Fast and Fury Nuts. <laughs> Not the, the Fast and Fury Nuts. Hanu's area. Not the Hanu Fast and Fury base, Nuts. Where you'll have a chance to produce a spin-off called The Way of Wolf. <laughs> also, Clock Studios theme park features an underground prop warehouse, gardens, and various other settings for guests to discover. Aside from that, there's also a new section ready to make its debut. Do Light Pavilion. Huh? Go, 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 go! Do Light Pavilion, located in the moment of morning dew, serves as the headquarters of the Oak family and belongs to Mr. Sunday. Oh, that's kind of cool. What's that? You're asking what good stuff Mr. Sunday has stashed away in the pavilion? This hamster knows nothing about that. 
Not very official. Two new areas. This is very official area. Material for fire type characters called Raging Heart, along with the Path of Preservation scattered Stardust trace materials. Okay, trace materials. This alien tree seed trace materials. Remember to go butt hunting. Okay, okay, <laughs> new materials. For today, folks. This hamster's off to snag some nuts. Y'all go you get your nuts, park. bro. And Everyone deserves some nuts. Motto. Go, go, go. Yeah, new materials for Zestrine and Gallagher. So new, new locations. That this seems, this seems kind of interesting. Yeah, he was a little nutty. Movies, amusement parks, and Broadway to create the fun-filled theme park. That should be a lot of fun. That seems like a very quirky area. I am excited. That should be fun. Film and entertainment park, which also serves as a shooting location. Hmm. They're really going all in. Oh! That mini game actually looks fucking dope. What the hell? <笑>那么这个过程当中触发极限超车 <笑> 好的那么回归这个活动呢它是一个现实生活中的酒吧或者说深夜食堂这样的概念而生常常<笑> Oh, yeah, we get new, uh, we get new chat boxes. Due to the collapse of the dreamscape, their emotions have been affected. It is such a good way to explain, like, all the enemies, like, going bonkers. I love it. I decided to take a different path from her family of performers. In an act of rebellion, she opened a monster lounge. <laughs> I love that. To untangle their emotional knots. Aww.她自己其实是觉得这些怪物们本身是能够存在一些情感链接的，用她自己的话来说。调饮这个过程就是和客人进行对话的一个过程，可以通过调制饮品来了解这些。She can understand the monster stories and experience their emotions. Oh, 听起来还有点浪漫的意味。I like that. 那么我们具体要怎么做？比如说怎么玩才能当好一个比较好的调饮师呢？这里的主题是关于酒吧。Since it's a monster lounge. <gasps> Is this the character they were talking about? Nice design for an NPC, a side NPC. Wait, that's actually so neat. I love it. So she she decided to take her own path um, from the Iris family. And they said Iris family, right? And yeah, she's from the same family as Sunday and Robin too. It's a, I guess it's like an NPC side story. It sounds like to me, they explained it as like an NPC side story thing. But maybe, maybe, oh wait, was this the event? that they were talking about? I don't know. <laughs> I can't, I don't know, side, some, some kind of side content, but maybe the event. But yeah, that's, 
That's an I like her design. That's really cool. That design's cool. They're they're very nice. The monster lounge event. I like that. That is neat. Okay. Oh, that's a good idea. You're a, you're a bartender. Choose the right ingredients and decorations and combine them. Oh, that's a, oh, look at the look at the <laughs> look at the little decor. <laughs> Oh, they'll have an opportunity to delve into the monsters. Are you going to help the monsters? You're, you're literally like a drink therapist. Free four star boys. Free four star. Even Gallagher is right there. Everyone can get a Gallagher if they want him. Oh, that's awesome. Free Gallagher if you want him. What? Yes, we have a friend who has done a tournament for the first time. Yes, we have a friend who has done a tournament for the first time. Yes, we have a friend who has done a tournament for the first time. That's so cool that they, got, they had some friends like help them with suggestions. Yes, it's a very strong culture of the Zorodar culture. So oh my gosh, that's awesome. What a good event. Mobile game, by the way. Yeah, that's Hoshiya 我突然想到一件有趣的事儿，那大概在一年前，我们为了皮头康尼收集一些相关的设计灵感，我们组内组织了一次团体。They uh, took a trip to a theater show just to get like design inspiration. That's freaking awesome. 融合饮品非常上头，越点越多，大家就在那边蹲蹲蹲，然后最后结账的时候发现大家有四十多杯。And forty glasses. <laughs> they very much enjoyed that event. <laughs> Dude, that's amazing. That's such a good, a good way to bridge the experience between creativity and real life. So I'm assuming, uh, I'm assuming the Monster Lounge will be permanent too. What is this? What is this? Is that Peppy? <laughs> Tides of War. What the heck? It looks so cute. 没关系，我们还有更长的。来，突击检查神军的全名是什么？呃，神枭雷。Pixel Building up power to unleash a devastating attack. Oh, and then it's all pixel again. It's so cute. <laughs> yeah, they baited us with the pixel art. Oh my god, my model is like dying. Hold on. Um,我们整个团队本身也是想尝试这样的一种不同的画风，以铁道的方式呈现给所有的玩家们。除了有趣的版本活动外，这个版本的魔女宇宙也将迎来更新，将开启第九世界。
嗯，没错，开拓者可以前往挑战，并通过沉浸装置兑换获得无主荒星茨冈尼亚、初雨显示与高天神国两大全新的位面饰品。无主荒星茨冈尼亚是一套适用于长线队群的战斗输出套装，而初雨显示与高天神国能在队伍内存在同名图角色时，给装备者额外的争议。相信我们的战斗搭配会更加灵活。其实我一直很想了解一下，魔女宇宙在未来会有一些更新方向，可以向我们分享一下吗？米露老师其实提到了重点啊，嗯，魔女宇宙呢，其实在我们游戏里面存在一个非常重要的一个玩法拓展的定位，呃，我们会持续长线的去更迭它。那从这个版本开始，我们就进行了一些变化，比方说。模拟宇宙的第九世界，玩家们是可以直接从难度四就开始挑战了。关关后就可以获得前面所有难度的守护奖励。在这之后，未来还有还会有一次非常重大的更新啊！它会在二点三版本当中呈现给大家。我们可以先期待一下。那除了模拟宇宙以外，在二点一版本还有一些其他的更新吗？有的，我们把委托的一键领取派遣端上来了。可以在界面中更便捷的收取奖励。Thank you. It's a nice little quality of life update. 此外，在二点一版本中，我们还提升了仪器工作上限，让大家存储更多仪器。Inventory limit increase. 我最近的确在研究怎么清理那个我的仪器，因为真的太容易买了。然后还有什么额外的内容更新吗？有的，我们每个版本也在得到已有的小玩法，例如像梦境迷踪，在新版本中我们添加了新的迷踪。梦境护照也添加了新的页面，开拓者们可以在二点一版本的新区域收集贴纸，继续记录自己的开拓旅程。而变身哈努兄弟玩法比起之前也进行了新的升级。这次哈努兄弟获得了全新的强力道具，一个威力巨大的火箭筒。Oh no! They're giving Hanu a a rocket launcher. 可以使用火箭筒进行攻击。如果攻击的时候两个敌人靠得足够近，还会引起连锁反应。Not the rocket launcher. Hanu is so powerful now. My boy Hanu. 还可能会开辟一些意想不到的通路。就是在未来，我们依旧会持续性的提供符合新虫铁道调性的活动内容，并且尝试更多的玩法体验。作为主线历程外，表达这个世界丰富性的重要一环。好，感谢两位老师。了解完版本活动后，我们可以稍事休息，请千万不要走开。兑换码之后，还有关于周年庆活动的介绍。哼哼，哼。That's pretty cool. A lot of good updates, you guys. That's awesome. I'd love to see it. That's a lot of good updates. Yeah, make sure you get your codes. You can claim them on the Hoyo Lab. We'd love to see it. That's good. Welcome Anniversary time, you guys. Let's talk anniversary. Titi. 这趟旅程不仅承载着探索和勇气，更有很多美好的回忆。那么，我们二点零版本匹诺康尼的故事也已经度过了一个版本。对于我们的开拓之旅，这段故事是一个新的起点。几位有什么感想 ？I can't believe it's already been a year. That's insane. It doesn't feel like a year has gone by. 其实，我如果我没记错，真正开始做应该是启动上二月十月十一月左右的事情。对 ，Holy shit, they've been planning p i n e a c o n i s since 2022. 是一个就是近在眼前的这样一个。是对，就是新内容。但对我们而言，其实相当于说，可能二三年一整年都是专注于其中。再回首那个时候，最早的，比方说一些早期的设定，然后看到一些很久以前没有落地的概念图的时候，都会有一种比较大的感触吧。Yeah, that's crazy. 筑梦边境最早叫什么名字 ？What's Dream Edge? Was Dreams Dreams Edge? Wait, what did they say? It was called Nanjing West Road. Okay, Dreams Edge sounds so much cooler. <laughs> For where those events were at. Development code name was Nangxi. 哎，那个
就是匹诺康尼沃尔的名字，对吧？啊，是。对对对，他但但是全称其实是叫南京西路，<笑>因为那个时候对，呃，他是第一个用匹诺康尼城镇，然后就用那个氛围，然后去搭建的这样一个迷宫场景。Dreams Edge was such a was such a better name. 主题是商业街，这个其实就是在几个月的过程当中慢慢不断迭代发生变化，然后又现在又有有了如今的筑梦谣言。Yeah, they put so much into it. 筑梦师，然后慢慢的把现在的商业街变成了一个呃，梦想街和基地交叉的这样一个概念。因为作为一个体量如此之大的游戏吧，可以说，然后我们在比较相对有限的开发时间内，然后尽可能的也想。I think they put against us like seven. That's crazy. Yeah, they they put so much time into into building these expand. Well, not even expansions, but like story arc. That is such a long time to see like the fruits of your labor. Concept and outline and watch it take shape as a framework. Then, slowly, 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 走起来的，银轨也是一块块整木堆叠起来的，就像开拓者们的旅途一样，我们这个开发其实也是一个慢慢往前的旅途。那么在这个一年的开发过程中，呃，项目组内有什么比较有趣的趣事这样的可以分享分享吗？呃，在我们这边的话，每个版本啊，呃，都会有一个所有人的一个练度的一张总表。啊，然后里面会包含、嗯，呃，你的一些等级信息啊，然后你这个版本每天、cool. <笑>啊消耗了多少体力啊，然后你的那个忘却之庭。Yeah, I think uh, I don't know. I don't want to get my expectations too high for every single moment, right? They've already been pretty generous with a lot of things, so I don't want to get like my expectations too high for every moment. Wow, so it's a learning tool, right? Yeah, learning tool. Hey, that you, have you ever seen any strange numbers on the screen? Oh, it's like that. I remember in a certain version, I saw one teacher who had a high consumption of over 700. I saw with the average consumption of over 700. 震惊了，七百多，他怎么办到的？没有怀疑他上班在干嘛。What's he doing during work？ 回去以后很多的需求。嗯，那还有什么有意思的事情 ？He's max refreshing, bro。我这边可以跟大家分享一个，就是我们在制作，呃，大家应该也都玩到了，就是二点零版本的这个呃钟表把戏。那其实我们做这个玩法的初衷就是，我们的平台上面，我们有了黄金的时刻这样一个非常大的一个城市和舞台。那我们希望做的一件事情就是激励玩家们，激励大家在这个城市中进行呃更多的探索。我们就想该如何去让大家都能够融入到这个城市的生态里面来。那最后我们经过了多次的呃迭代之后，我们最后得到的方案就是苦一苦我们的任务和文案同学。我们最后给我们的城市里面的啊、呃，不止城市里面啊，整个梦境所有的迷宫里面的常驻的 NPC 全部都给配套了四种情绪，并且每个人都有四套情绪，配合四套完全不同的表演和台词。当然还有一些任务和事件在他们身上，逼迫我们的配音老师为这些 NPC 全都配了四种情绪的打招呼语音。那这个还有一个就四种情绪的。That's crazy. They've done a lot. 是的，是的，是的，这个是非常，这个是我们也很开心看到大家对他的反馈是。That's crazy. They they did so much. 特别好。是。Okay, guys, are you generous? So yeah, yeah. 可以看到。这都是学鱼类的结果，所以大家其实可以看到为什么我们的这个 they 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 go hard. There's no way. Just the fact that they push it on like the Vegas sphere, you know they go insanely hard on budgeting the marketing. 真情实感，真情实感。对对对对对。那这个整个综上所述，这个工作量其实是非常巨大的。It's actually enormous workload. 甚至可能是超出了一些我们的想象的。呃，但是看到了版本上线之后，大家确确实实呃在。这个主城中和 NPC 交互的时候，去调整他们心情的过程中，确实取得了一些正面的反馈，取得了一些快乐。那其实对于我们这些参与到内容制作中的工作人员来说，还是非常开心，感觉非常有成就感。嗯嗯，玩笑归玩笑，就觉得当时做出这样一个创新的决定也是正确的。那下一个世界也会
，虽然未必赛事中没有把戏了，但可能也一定会去寻找独处于他们的那一个新鲜的事物。They really try to come up with like they really try to come up with just unique mechanics and aspects to each world. I really I appreciate that. 快满一周年之际，我们也一直关注着开拓者们提出一些问题，正好也借今天这个机会来问问几位考察考察几位。不过呢，为了保证这些问题的答案的真实性，我们也为大家准备了一些小道具。什什什什么小道具？这个环节呢，我们其实之前在、oh. 对，我们其实在之前是偷偷向你们瞒住了这个事儿的。其实我们给大家准备了一份心跳检测仪。Heart rate monitors， 请夹在自己的手指头上。What are they doing？ <笑> What are they doing？ 对，我我手指会被夹断吗？不会。<笑>也许你说谎以后就会哦。我感觉我的心跳已经超过一百二了。这不是这不是那谁吗？那个前两天刚发了角色卡的那个人。<笑>那我应该这样带。<笑>那既然各位老师都已经带好了以后，那我们就准备开始了。Uh, 我现在已经可以看到各位老师的心跳了。Uh, 那我们接下来第一个问题：魔女宇宙刷位面视频太痛苦了。Oh no! Heart rate monitors while they ask them questions. 要么这个问题，汉子老师回答一下。啊。Putting them on the spot. 刚刚其实那个吴岩老师也已经做了一些小介绍了嘛。然后既然问到的话，那我这边就稍微透露一下。呃，你不要一直看心跳。Don't just keep staring. 我们确实啊，也觉得目前的那个魔女咒刷起来是有点困难，然后特别的烦。I think it's boring. I don't know if it's difficult, but it is boring. 我们会优化一些快速刷取位面视频的功能。Can quickly obtain planner ornaments. Like they're gonna change. They're gonna do updates so that we can skip the grind of. 普通羚羊。S U. 好，那么接下来下一个问题啊。Two point three. 其实好多人都很期待。When will March seventh transform? 给大家看看，少杰老师。哦，我吗？啊。OK， 行啊，这个这个问题很好回答，有什么不能回答的？那三月七作为列车组的一员，同时也是这个游戏的看板娘，当然一直以来都是备受关注的。而她的身世似乎也呃预示着三月七身上会有非常大的料，非常大的故事。Yes， 嗯，本身的话，我们会认为不介意把这个过程拉得更漫长一些。但对于喜爱三月七的各位玩家而言，可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可能有一些不可
，心跳太平稳了，就哎，怎么就问不出点 ？We came prepared， 怎么就问不出点？我觉得这些问题本质上还是因为我们每时每刻都在关注。不过这个问题我觉得应该还行。请问？仙咒的故事什么时候继续呢？我们还会再见到。When will s t o r y l i n e continue? When will we ever see Ting Yun again? 这是一个很好的问题。We remember. Can we have a different question? 毕竟他们都想知道，对吧？要不 Ting Yun who? 回答 Ting Yun 不是你设计的吗 ？Wasn't Ting Yun designed by you? 没讲，没讲。如果那个，我觉得，如果其实因为。Can we talk about it? What do you mean? Do we need to talk about it? What do you mean? Go on. Uh, I think how to say it. Um, uh,众所周知，其实星穹铁道本身它的主线故事有一个比较重要的色彩，就是它是一个动态发展故事嘛。The dynamic living story. Um, 开头之旅行过一站之后，星穹铁道本身它的主线故事有一个比较重要的色彩，就是它是一个动态发展故事嘛。The 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 dynamic living story. Um, 开头之旅行过一站之后，星穹铁道本身它的主线故事有一个比较重要的色彩，呃，那确实，诚如大家所见，在一点二版本提前发生了一些事，这一情节也成为了仙州众多角色命运的转折点。那在呃，所以 ，How will the Sancho Alliance view the Fantilia crisis after the event has concluded? What kind of future will the Lao Fu embark on? And how will the conflict between the Hunt and Abundance continue to write new chapters? 这些故事，我觉得也是时候在今年走向属于他们的下一个阶段。可以可以，感觉虽然没有特别具体的消息，但算中年回忆吗？你觉得？ Guys, I feel like they're saying there's hope for more Ting Yun information. 能讲的，我全部都讲。I feel like they're saying there's more hope for Ting Yun. 那我们来看看下一个问题吧。这个问题就比较简单了。Will there be more cute life forms like Ruan May's creations? The cake cats are so cute. There's a chance. 要么，嗯，提醒老师来回答一下这个问题。那我们也看到大家对于之前的这些小生物，不管是巫婆也好，兔妈也好，或者其他的猫猫狗啊这些生物的喜爱，其实这些反馈我们都已经啊完全接收到了。所以在世界设计上面，我觉得大家可以继续期待，就是我们在啊不止十二点一，可能是以后更多的版本，我们也会试出更多的就是类似的、更加可爱的这些啊小的 Q 版的萌萌的这些形象。好，我们看下一个问题，这个问题。呃，稍微有点。Happy and D things. I love happy and D things. Why do I see future content on the internet before they're officially released? Oh. 泄露是吧？ Oh, this question. They're addressing leaks, you guys. Uh oh, you dreamers are in trouble. You dreamers are in trouble. 这个我来回答吧。我觉得还是首先必须得承认一个客观事实，那就是，呃，越有吸引力的内容，它自然受到关注也就越多，那它，呃，泄露的概率也就越大，而泄露之后，它的传播也更加的不可控。那这样无论对于想要看到和不想看到它的玩家而言，它的影响都是越大的。嗯。当我们在讲一个故事的时候，我觉得除了故事的内容本身，最重要的一件事情是什么？是我们讲述的方式。我们都是热爱游戏的人，然后我们从游戏当中获得了一些很酷的、我们觉得很帅的情感体验。我们想把它带给另一个人，这个事情它需要一个过程，它需要循序渐进。甚至我必须在讲述的过程当中，呃，根据你的反应，根据我们的认知，我们所。彼此能理解多少，然后不断的去调整我的讲述方式，只是为了达成最后那样一个，呃，我们双方都能取得快乐的这样的一个结果，这才是沟通，这才是交流。我觉得很遗憾的是，这件事情能带来什么影响，或者说最大的影响是什么呢？就是这样的一个过程，这样一个本应非常美好的过程被粗暴打断了，甚至于说我们会看到一些泄露源。
whether intentionally or not, are creating conflicts because their process of telling the story is inappropriate, leading to discord and misunderstanding among players. So it's confusion and disputes among many people, including ourselves and innocent players. This is a creator's greatest regret. Now, 和玩家一起快乐的情感 但, But in September, it wasn't as ideal as we hoped. Leaked out in an ignorant, savage, crude way. <gasps> Everyone here finds it challenging to explain what happens to, happened to other staff who believed in this and looked forward to the official release. Wow, that's crazy, you guys. Literally, I, that makes me feel so heartbroken. It affects them so much. I, I'm not, I don't pay attention to leaks. We don't allow leaks in my community or in my Discord or anything. We don't, we do not, we, we, we ban it. We pretty much like, like we... I don't know. I don't look at any of it. Like, I don't want to. I know why some people want to know leaks, especially if you're, like, on a budget and stuff. Like, it helps you plan ahead for, like, characters and stuff. But, man, that is that is super painful. I, I definitely I definitely get why uh, people want to be able to plan ahead for characters because they release so quickly. And a lot of people just want to be able to, like, budget correctly. And I totally get that. But as far as like story leaks and like lore and background and stuff, like that's painful. Like that's so painful. And uh, that's, yeah, I think that's, I think those are completely unacceptable. The fact, apparently you guys said the script leaked. That's, that is so painful. That has to, that has to absolutely suck for them being as excited as they are putting years of work into building up these arcs and the story and everything else just for it to be thrown into the void like that. Like, that is awful. I had no idea. A lot of the characters got leaked in as well. Yeah, I mean, I, I get I get the reasoning behind people wanting to pre-farm and like, especially because like these games, these games can really trick you into like, <laughs> not even trick, these games can really encourage people to spend a lot of money. And so I totally understand why people want to look ahead at characters in order to like plan budgeting wise. And that makes sense. That's reasonable. I think doing what you need to do to make sure you're not like getting sucked into like FOMO and and spending tons of money on the game is totally reasonable. But dude, that's crazy. But what about cut content post release? That is not for us to know. I I know that I know that people want to uh, consume everything a company has created, and people feel that they're owed that kind of stuff. But we as consumers are not. And what they have cut from the game and what they've decided not to present to consumers, that is not our right to know and to consume. Like, I, I wholeheartedly believe that. Like, we are, we, we should not be so selfish and self-centered. They already present to us such a quality game, and they give us so much. You know, they already, they've already, like, they're presenting to us a very high-quality game. Love being on Twitter and seeing an unspoiled post. Yeah, that's awful. I was written by 2.0 by thumbnails. YouTube's bad about it. YouTube is very bad about it. But story-wise, story-wise, that's insane. Um, I can't believe that. I didn't even know that happened. That's insane. And this is their life work. Like, obviously, they're passionate. They have so much passion for what they're creating and the story they're writing. And they literally... That has to be so disappointing. That has to be so hard um, to see, like, their script just leaked that's insane 
I'm I'm fortunate that I pretty much have like avoided. I mean, there's intentional cuts and cuts due to budget time. Yeah, I mean, that's that's part of business, though. I had to block the words leak. Yeah, I definitely recommend blocking stuff like that. But that's insane. I had no idea something like that even happened. Um, but I, I'm fortunate enough, I, I, for the most part, I've avoided all leaks. So, sheesh. The guy, the guy that worked on HI3 in that game has one of my favorite stories. Are you talking about, like, the... Yeah, all the new players getting spoiled. Dude, the story is like such a the story is such a big part of the surprise and enjoyment in this game. Oh, is it Shayoji? Is Shayoji the one that wait is who's the chapter nine writer? You guys speak and vote for HI3? Who's the chapter nine? Is that who it is? Shayoji? There's some really big spoilers out there. Oh, oh, okay. The dude with the glasses. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was he was in the, the last live stream too. He was the one that presented it all. I get their names mixed up. I'm still I'm still trying to learn who's who. <laughs> I get their names mixed up. Um they went all like, okay, you wanna play? That's crazy. I am I feel I'm so sorry if you guys have had stuff like spoiled. That I actually um Whenever I post my YouTube content and stuff like that, I uh, I actually use like a separate YouTube account when I want to go browse YouTube for stuff that's not like... If I use my Star Rail like YouTube account, I will see all the creator shit that gets spoiled. So I don't do it. I actually upload on that account and I log out of it and I don't use it. Because it's rampant. And I'm really so sorry. That's awful you guys have had like... That's so awful. That you guys have had huge moments in this game spoiled. Just absolutely spoiled. I'm so sorry. And a lot of it has to do with creators chasing the algorithm. And I'm so sorry. I, like I said, I, I get why people want to look ahead at kits and characters. But story spoilers are awful. That's fucking terrible. That will ruin a game. Can you give us spoilers? No, I don't. I try my... I try very hard um to not pick moments for thumbnails and stuff like that for youtube I, I i hate ruining big moments for people i try to put it in my title what we're doing i try to put it in a pin what we're doing i try so hard to avoid spoiling people we have like we have like a spoiler we have a spoiler chat uh in discord just for spoilers so people don't have to click on the channel and can still talk about star rail so your spoiler is like someone telling you how a movie ends. Yeah. Spo streamers get spoiled in chat all the time. They do. Uh, people will maliciously try to spoil stuff, which is why when we're doing big moments, if I really care about something that's coming up or going on, um, I have extra mods who can partake in chat during that day. And I actually also will... Sometimes when people get out of hand, I just won't even look at chat and it sucks, but I love interacting with you guys But when I really care about a story in these games, particularly the big moments I I go out of my way to avoid even looking at what people are talking about in chat Because sometimes it's sometimes it's even unintentional and I, I don't try to blame people It's part of it's part of being a creator for us But you guys if you're not a creator and you're getting spoiled by like all this shit on YouTube and Twitter and stuff like that. I feel so bad for you. It's kind of part of like, it's kind of part of being a creator. So like, it's it's a risk that we know that we have to take. So it happens. Well, it's a leak. Yeah, people shouldn't just be sharing leaks and being like, whatever. Yeah, that's super fucked up. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. That sucks. I try very hard to be careful about it. And I give people warnings and stuff. Oh. Damn. Hi, Kazudo. Yeah, Kazudo.我们在做的是一个一年数十年为单位的内容故事。那它自然也要经受得起一年数十年为单位的考验。抱着这样对于完美的幻想，然后且行且看，尽力而为去做一些我们相信的事情。我觉得也只有这样子，我
I usually rush the story every patch because next day all plots are spoiled in thumbnails. Content creators rush as fast as pop, po like as possible to compete with each other purely because of the way like YouTube and social media, like trending and algorithms take off. So it definitely sucks. Yeah, you'll pretty much see like it's it's a big thing in content creation now to just to be the first to release content or be the first to put it out there so that you can. Yeah, it, it sucks. It's it's pretty much immediate and. I don't even know how you go about avoiding it now. Pretty much, if there's something you're looking forward to, you just try to do it as soon as you can and stay off social media and stay off YouTube and avoid discords. I've, I have, I've left some discords because they actually don't have like spoiler channels and stuff like that. They just talk about it openly. So it's just gaming in general now. It really sucks. It's, it's hard to avoid. Um, it's hard. I'm sorry. <laughs> I block every YouTube channel spoil stuff. Understandable. Understandable. Yeah. I actually, uh, a lot of my creator friends too, and I respect the grind very much. Um, but when a new patch is coming out, um, I actually mute most of my creator friends on Twitter for like the first two weeks. <laughs> Because I, I love them to death. Like, they're awesome people. They're awesome creators. But I'm going to be real. They they spoiled shit for me in the past. And I'm like, fuck you guys. <laughs> so I actually mute a lot of my creator friends. I am I I don't wake up at 6 a.m. Like, you guys, a lot of the creators wake up early, early to do it at, at launch time. I don't do that. I, I respect my sleep. It's too important to me. Um, my health and everything else. So, like... I, we're watching this at 5 fucking p.m. It's been out for 12 hours. I couldn't even open Twitter. I was just like, ah, shit, I can't open Twitter. I try. I haven't opened YouTube. Like, you know, I, I watch stuff later on. So I had to mute everyone, too. I kind of have to treat it like a minefield. Um, just to, did you redeem the codes? Not yet. I need to. But yeah, so like I, I, I hate rushing. And I hate, uh, I'm always, I'm always someone that does it like 24 hours later. Um, I'm never a creator that does stuff immediately. Um, so I, I'm so, I, yeah, you pretty much have to just not be on Twitter. Like you just have to avoid social media until, don't even look at YouTube. Don't look at Twitter. Don't open anything. Don't even open Discord. You just have to exist outside of the space in order to avoid spoilers. It's so hard. Oh. It's tough. I know I'm light, but how about that? I know the Akron animations are amazing. You pretty much have to avoid everything. It really sucks. I, I, Mino's going crazy. I know, I know. And I respect it. Like, I know, I know the creators are just like, you know, they're just giving the people what they want. But damn, I, I'm a late, I'm a late watcher and I'm a late player. So <sighs> it's pain. <laughs> You gotta find a bunker out in the desert to game. I know you literally have to like disconnect from the world. Just uh, that's what I did with FF7 Rebirth literally an entire week off socials. Yeah, you pretty much have to disconnect and then just enjoy it in your own time. I highly recommend it because sometimes big moments get spoiled and it really sucks. I, I disconnect too. I'm like, nope, I don't even care. I'm sorry, guys, if you don't get social media content from me for a week. I'm sorry if my YouTube doesn't get shit for a week. I don't care. <laughs> I'm not I'm not getting spoiled. I care too much. <laughs> I'm, I'm a selfish creator. <laughs> I got spoiled for a major plot point in the game, waiting in line for blood work. Truly nowhere is safe. What? Were you like browsing social media or just like on YouTube or something or check Discord? I literally won't. I I actually like shut down. I don't I don't open YouTube. I don't open Twitter. I I we've made a pretty decent space in our Discord. Like we have channels for like spoilers and threads and stuff like that. And I just have a mute in. So my Discord's usually a safe place. <laughs> but um I won't check other people's Discords. And like if friends spoil it, dude, they're getting the block. <laughs> like if friends accidentally spoil something for me, bro, they're getting the cold shoulder for quite some time. But I just have friends. I keep friends that wouldn't do that to me. You know, like me and my friends respect each other. We actually ask each other. We're like, how far did you get? Where are you at? Like even even an anime that we're excited about, we'll be like, did you watch this? You know, where are you guys at on this? The person in line on the phone was talking to someone? Wow, that is truly, truly 
unlucky. The world hated you in that moment. The universe had a bone to pick with you in that moment. I literally stopped playing right after the FF moment that I opened YouTube and get spoiled. Yeah, it, you pretty much just have to avoid it. It's just until you're done. Being a mod on Discord or Twitch is easy to get spoiled. Yeah, I don't expect my mods to. Uh, I We pretty much just let the... I, I tell them, I'm like, guys, it's okay. You do not have to deal with that. Like, just let that shit go rampant in the spoilers channel. Like, whenever someone is done, you guys can go back. But I don't expect my mods to spoil themselves. Um, I have some mods that they actually take time off whenever I'm doing content that they haven't done. Um, or not even take time off. They're just like, hey, sorry, I'm not going to be around while you're playing this game. And I'm just like, totally okay. I understand. Yeah, spoiler channel is no man's land. Enter at your own risk. <laughs> Bye, Zenny. Good night. Get some rest. Get some rest. Um, but yeah, that's crazy. Fog. Crazy. <laughs> Let's see what their last questions are. Oh, wait, that was their last question. Okay. I never want you guys as mods. I never want you guys to rush yourself. Like, we will. I will just let chat be no man's land. I would not want you guys to rush or spoil for yourself. I really respect how much passion this team has for all this content. I respect it a lot. Yeah, I think we have 10 minutes left. Anniversary events. Yeah, they have, they have great vibes. They do really great having like production value for these. Cosmo, Cosmodicy, Cosmodicy. The Comodesty. Cosmodesty. Oh, that's kind of cute. What a cute event. <laughs> It's like, it's like a board game. Cosmo <笑>我们的列车长帕姆是这次活动的鼓励师那他希望我们 Oh, that's cute. They included Pom Pom in the event. Pom,在这个活动的见面,也能看到你的好友,共献了多少奖励,甚至还有点赞的小功能。Pom,Pom,Pom,Pom,Pom,Pom,Pom,Pom,Pom,Pom,Pom,Pom,Pom,Pom,
呃，我觉得确实不用着急，因为吉米下个版本就会回来。He'll be back the okay. He'll be back in the next one. 我觉得除了吉米，别的人都不太适合来讲。We miss Mr. Butt. Yes. 有点期待了啊。呃，但我们这次是二点一版本直播，还是聊二点一的事情。Albert is such a good announcer. He's such a good announcer. 好运滚滚自助机可以单抽获三连抽来试试手气。Dude, they really went all out on the Gamba. 在星际和平购物公司也能获取一些奖励，或者游玩饼干烘翻翻烘焙台的小游戏。We're getting a cookie game. 当然可以，是有这个功能的。只要开拓者对自己的运气足够信心啊，就像我们刚才介绍的某位角色一样，对吧？善于善于让人概率游戏的角色，就可以成为开拓圈大亨。其实，呃，除了这些以外呢，然后这个活动我最喜欢的还有一个。Yeah, this is an extensive event. This is all like different stuff in the event. When we reach the end of the game, there will be a survey. It's simple but not too long. Okay, can you ask Peppy? <laughs> Will you choose? Those are good. Do you remember what ad answers matter not? The matters are your feeling and your choices. You can find out which nameless. <gasps> oh, that's cute! By answering the questions, you find out which nameless from history you resemble the most. Oh, that's kind of cool. I like that. It's like a personality test. Nameless lore. That's a nice little addition. Like the sorting hat. Yeah. <laughs> Based on your trailblazing experience and choices. Kimiko, as an explorer of the stars, is the youngest navigator full of hope, sincerity, and passion. Oh, I like that. 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 Oh, I Yes, sir. The anniversary event is more like journey. Uh,周年庆啊,总觉得在这么重要的时刻,应该还有一位很重要的嘉宾在场才对吧? <笑> What's going on? Oh! Oh! It's our boy! Show us the way! I love the dramatic entrance! <laughs> Old friend. I love it. He lives! <laughs> Special anniversary versions of Realm of the Strange and Planar Fisher. Fisher, okay. Three hundred percent rewards, baby! Triple! Triple disappointment, baby! Let's go! Triple disappointment! Oh, 20! 20 free pulls! And 1600 stellar jades! Okay, nice. 30 pools, guys. 30 free pools. Pop-up bonuses are recent. Ah, shit. Ah, shit, guys. Wait. 最后还有一个大家期待已久的消息，让我们有请列车长上台和我们一起宣布吧。So thirty thirty free pulls and pop up. 我们的列车长在过去一年里来到了全球各地，与许许多多的开拓者有过线下相见的机会。今年列车长又将前往哪些地方呢？就请帕姆来为我们。
Papa Mu, this is behind. Why is there something? Hey, this is the Lancer Lancer. A conductor's itinerary. Then we will announce the schedule for the next train. The schedule. Express schedule. Immersive interactive exhibition is now open. We have prepared the space station, Beiluo Bogge, Xianzhou, Pinlo Kangni, four streets. 开拓者足不出户就能到场打卡，快来线上体验夹娃娃机、幸运转盘、互动拿大奖吧！欢迎各位开拓。What? What are? Are these all like online events? Are these like online events? My eyes will have her bye, please get some get some rest. What the? I'm confused about this one too. 而趁着周年的契机，我们也会在全球各地举办线下体验活动。Currently available information. Global events. Taipei, Jianhua, Hong Kong, Hanyang Airport, Jianhua. So these are these are like oh, it looks like an AR offline event. This one is actual IRL events. I thought it was like VR chat worlds. That would be interesting. But these are like actual uh, one night in Pinaconi, Star Rail anniversary party, March thirtieth in LA. Damn, couldn't 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 be anywhere near that. That'd be kind of cool. I wish I was in an area where I could I could do stuff like this, but Berlin, yeah, Berlin. Oh man, these would be so cool. But the first part is the online thing, yeah. These would be so cool to attend, but bro, <laughs> I gotta spend my money on the game. 新间旅行社巴黎主题展览以及日本地区的嘉年华和铁道特别企划等线下周年活动，还有巴西的 We Coffee， 韩国的博尔炸鸡。That one's in Brazil, Korea, Japan, online pre-registration. Oh, this is a bunch of stuff in Japan. Star Rail World Tour 2024 will exhibit. Okay. Oh, this will be cute. Multiverse Vistas. It's the largest creator event. This contest has four submission categories. 全球各大知领域知名创作者如菅野洋子、Trash Taste 等担任赛事评委。共揽开拓者们的奇思妙想。与此同时，我们将与全球最大的三 D 社群挑战发起者、探索者共同发起“崩坏星穹铁道”。Bro, you guys, we're about to get some fucking amazing fan-like creations for Star Rail. I can't wait to see what people come up with. Diving to dreams. Trash test. 三 D 社群活动，邀请你接受一封深潜梦境的挑战书。期待各位开拓者的精彩创作。另外，由 Hello Fire 举办的 Sparkle 爵士音乐之夜也即将登场。在铁路旁的某处，一场梦境绑架案正在发生。Dream Abduction Case。最后，星球铁道演唱会正式定档。Star Rail Concert。Please come to the US。Global Live。We have to watch it together. It's gonna have a global live showing. We have to watch it together, you guys. Oh my God. 一起聆听。重温那些来自开拓之旅的音乐回忆。May first, we have to watch it together. 节目的最后，让我们有请所有的项目组老师们。I'll wake up for that one. I will 100% wake up for that one. 在开拓的道路上，我们不断前进，不断做出选择。我们衷心希望能与各位开拓者一路相伴，将开拓之旅一直延续下去。为开拓者留下美好的回忆是我们的初衷，也是未来一直努力下去的目标。祝愿开拓者们！一周年快乐！周年快乐！一周年快乐！一周年快乐 ！I'll take it. My first strike for the Star Rail concert. 东海星球铁道二点一前瞻特别节目到这里就要和大家说再见了。再次感谢各位的观看，祝大家做个好梦。Let us meet in every universe. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yo, that was badass. I can't imagine they DMCA people for it. I don't think people would get striked. Yeah, I don't think people got strikes with the Ginsu one. I can imagine. Oh my god, that was so good. Holy shit, what, is there anything left? Hold on, there's like 20 more seconds. After the show ends, we also conducted some interviews with some guests. Let's listen to what Mr. Teacup wants to say. Oh. Mr. Teacup. I think Mr. Teacup doesn't have anything to say. Let's ask Mr. Teacup. Why is Mr. Teacup not allowed to say? Mr. Teacup is not allowed to say. The cooked chicken. <laughs> what? Did he give it a little pat? <laughs> They're such goofballs. Oh 
oh my god that was so good you guys they they're wow that was that was ridiculously good i couldn't even handle it holy shit another packed patch they they do not disappoint man they one after another they are knocking this out of the ballpark that's so good bring aa run back dude i'm so excited this was amazing like that I, they, every time they 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 literally blow me away every time i'm i'm never like left disappointed which is crazy because like i try to keep my expectations pretty reasonable but uh they don't they don't disappoint me ever is there any new uh there's uh there's there's nothing official about any sort of like free uh characters or anything like that like all that shit is just rumors and fake i i don't believe there's any sort of like uh backup for something like that i wouldn't expect it either yeah but yeah we are getting 30 free pulls which is that's still that's still really generous like um we are getting 30 free pulls you'll you'll have like log on you'll log on to get 20 and then they're giving us 1600 jade in the mail so that's good that that eases up a good bit of uh uh, at least getting to your first 50-50. And then, yeah, we also have the Cosmo Dusty event, so that'll be good, Jade. We have lots of events coming up, so... Um, there's tons of, tons of Jades. And then we'll still have some resets, too, for, like, MOC and whatnot. So, should be, should be at least uh, some relief. Yeah, there should be some relief for free pools, at least. And then... You know, for people like me, you guys, I'm gonna be over here with my top up bonuses. <laughs> They're gonna take all my money. <laughs> um, yeah, so this should be should be pretty good. But damn, what a stacked, what an absolutely stacked patch. I'm excited. They 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 teased us with so much information. There's a lot to uh there's a lot to unpack. I still consider free doctor ratio an anniversary event. Yeah. They were it was nice of them to do that. Top ups April 26th though. Well, I already uh I'm already ready for Akron. I'm like 65 pulls in. I have like right now I only have like 5k um jade, but I'm hoping to win the 50/50. And then I uh, I'll go for the light cone and then um I think I have 10 extra pulls and we'll see. We'll see. I mean, I'm not against swiping my card anyway. <laughs> yeah, there's still adventuring and Robin and everything else. So yeah, they'll get a, usually players will get free S. Yeah, I feel like Honkai Impact 3rd is not the same though. I feel like uh, that they, they do different stuff for HI3. And the Space Cowboys. Yeah, I'm at 65. I just really hope I win my 50-50. I'm going to be really sad. Um, I plan to make you pull for E6. Are you, well, if you guys are going to do here, uh, we'll have to do viewer pulls. Are you a fellow whale? I spend a bit of money on this game. Yeah. <laughs> Less than I thought I did, but still a lot. Yeah, we're finally getting good night's sleep well on, on the cone. We really need good night's sleep wells. Those will be really good. I, 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 I have not had very good luck in pulling good night's sleep wells. So that'll be a good light cone. But uh, yeah, we'll do viewer pulls as well for uh, Acheron and stuff like that. And then I can get my Gamba addiction through your guys' accounts. <laughs> uh, don't you have S4? Dude, I, you have S... No, I have an S4. That's it. I have not had very good luck. How is that not good luck? With how much money I've spent only having an S4? That's insane. I have multiple S5s of other light cones. You're getting stuff so much easier? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't be shy. I pulled too much. <laughs> yeah, I need to. I'm trying not to spend as much this year, but dude, they're making it hard. They they keep releasing banger after banger. Like, ac oh my god, dude. I was a, I was a solid husbando enjoyer, you guys. I was like a solid husbando enjoyer. And they are, they are getting me. I think Akron might end up being one of my favorite characters in this game. I'm so fucked. I'm so fucked. This is sick. Uh, I'm so screwed. Uh, I'm so screwed. 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 I'm so screwed.
也就是说，这个终结期不需要能量，你们虚无是把它的能量全部虚无掉了。黄泉就整个就没有能量了。哦、oh, ，那挺好的，可以不用刷。这 might be my first. <laughs> He don't even play this game. He's about to. 然后呢，就黄泉他秘技啊，也是非常。Just dump money, yes. Yes, King. That's what's up. He says he's not even gonna play the game. He's just gonna log in an E sixer. Log right out. Maybe take a screenshot. And take a screenshot. Nice. 特殊的，你可以想象一下，就是你在探索过程中看到前面有只怪。She's badass. Like I can't. I can't. Like. Oh my God. This is insane. 充满的时候啊，就会激活黄泉的终结技了。Uh, She's insane. With no energy, they're gonna adjust the blessings. I don't know what they're gonna do with her. Ah, dude, her animations are the best animations in the entire fucking game. They got me again, boys. They got me again. Shit. <laughs> they got me again, boys. Insane. I don't know. I've said that every time. I'm like, I don't I don't know how they can top this, you know? Every every character release, I'm like, nah, there's no way. They can't top this. They can't top this. And then just like every new character, you guys. So is it Luocha? Yeah, it's Luocha and Akron. Uh on it's Luocha Akron, and then it was Jing Liu uh adventuring. And then Gallagher is on Acheron's banner. So you know what I want to know if Nihility Path Resonance adds a stack per tick when you use it for Acheron? They said they had to get really creative to fit her into the Nihility, like, path. They they literally just are like, I, I respect it so much, like, talking through this, where they're just like, we have these really creative ideas and we just make them work. And then we, we love our ideas so much that we just say fuck it and send it. <laughs> like, hmm, isn't this kind of game breaking? Yeah, but it's cool and it's fun. Heck it. <laughs> that was badass. I love that so much. I don't even care. Yeah, like, I, she's just badass. I have to have her. They're very passionate. Will it for only the speedrun SU? Oh, gosh. Well, apparently there's an update. They're going to do updates in the, later on in 2.3 for a simulated universe, make it less tedious. That's badass, man. She's amazing. <laughs> I'm a sucker, so my two favorite like color schemes are purple, like purples, and then like the the white and red. White and red is just way too badass. And so the fact that she has both and she has this just like she just has this like color change demon mode, holy Shit, that is fucking insane. I already from the beginning was like, damn, look at Akron. She is so awesome looking. And then we get like we get the change from this amazing color scheme to just the monochrome. Oh my god. She's amazing. Shit. Time to start crafting the technique point food. <laughs> It's gonna be awesome. That's crazy. I can't wait until she kicks. Oh, I know, dude. The fact we're gonna fight uh, adventuring. This was really cool. Dude, they started the freaking live stream off Action. with this background music. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> You've witnessed it, so there's no need to hide. <laughs> Even the shiniest city has its dark side. This was badass. Surely I don't need to explain too much to you. Here's to you, sober one, with this glass of a dream within a dream. It's only when this sword is unsheathed. God. With those hazy memories to become clear. She has to control her power, dude. That's insane. They literally started it off like this. This is where it ends. Block Studios theme park. That's freaking badass, you guys. Only when the, sh the only when the sword is unsheathed do those hazy memories become clear. Insane. Absolutely insane.
Holy shit. <laughs> when I saw a venturing boss, I thought we were having a child moment. Oh, man. Payment center in Pentecost. The culture of a city reflects this its history amazing. in the most authentic way. I actually... I didn't really like adventuring, but I'm actually curious now to learn more about him. They got me kind of invested. Using Robin's death as a bargaining chip, I'll ruin this beautiful dream and create the grandest dinner. She ain't dead though, right? Right, guys? She's fine. Robin's fine. Robin's gonna be fine. Oh, who is that? Grandest dinner. Oh, that's Trailblazer, right? Oh, damn! I didn't even notice. That's cool as hell. That was a nice little animation, going in like that. Whoa, that's crazy. I didn't even notice the, uh... I didn't even notice the, like, field around Pinnacone melting down. That's wild. Domain expansion. Holy shit. Ladies and gentlemen, ready to unveil your car. Fuck, that transition and then the teardrop in blood. Yes. Badass! The veil has been lifted. Gojo moment. Oh my god. Pinnacone's badass. <laughs> you think his adventuring? Like, like his past? Yeah, we did the, we did it earlier. The like... Frame by frame. Ladies and gentlemen. We uh we did the we did this earlier. But they said I know everyone said this is like raid ra this reminds them of what Raiden Raiden May, H I three or whatever. But then the developers said the horns are different. So I wonder if they're gonna be changing things up. Just a reference, yeah. And then Sunday. It's really weird. I don't know what Sunday is like poking right here. Like homie, homie poking something weird going on right there. Like, <laughs> I don't know what he's I don't know what he's over here poking on, bro. Yo, Lazo! Oh my god, 2.0 looks fucking badass. There ain't no way that's Robin, bro. Robin's fine. She's gonna be fine, man. And then they had the box. I assume this was the relic that, uh, he, he had the, uh, the relic in or whatever. The ad adventuring. But finally, the gang's gonna be back together, it looks like. I'm really excited to get everyone back together, because I feel like in 2.0, we didn't actually converse all that much with the Astral Express, so we, everyone was kind of doing their own thing. And then this is, like, the kid holding the hat. But this is insane! This is the craziest part of it! Freaking Firefly! With the, like, the crack in her cheek, with the power going up her cheeks, you guys. Like, this is the craziest part! Like, I can't fucking wait! She's cracking, bro! <laughs> it's on both sides of her cheeks, too, so it's like she's powering up. It's insane! The hotel took the Heartstone, so I feel like that was what was in the box, though. Are you sure that's Firefly? It looks like Firefly! <laughs> she needs that moisturizer, bro! I'm hoping that you're talking about the split stories goes back over. Yeah, they were saying something about, like, the split stories from the Fate Atlas. So then there was this kid. Oh, he, it kind of does have, like, adventuring-style eyes. So I guess, uh, I'm assuming we're going to get, like, Adventuring's, like, backstory, maybe? That's him for sure. Look at the gloves. Yeah, that's definitely him. And that's his earring, right? 
But I wonder if this is supposed to be like him as a kid. It's when he was still a good boy. <laughs> Topaz? Oh, maybe. Maybe, maybe it's like, uh... Maybe it's like his backstory before he... Hmm. Is it by chance Robin? I'm not sure. I don't, I don't know if we're supposed to be able to know who, uh... Who it is. It could also be some kind of, like, allure to his backstory as, like, when he was a kid as well. You know, like, oh, looking back to young, innocent, adventuring before he was crazy. <laughs> you know? This is, this is ominous. Like, this is crazy to me. Just like, oh, God. The freaking teardrop turning to blood. And then it has, like, the, the fact that it does the blackout screen between it repeatedly. Like, what the fuck? Insane. I'm I'm stressed. <laughs> I'm stressed for her. Oh man. This is so cool. This scene right here. That's insane. The power that she's pulling. Oh my fucking god. She's got like a bubble forming around her. Does the iris design change inside? I didn't think so. I'll have to double check. She is literally domain expanding. It's literally a domain battle. And then everything loses its color in her domain. Like, look, the, the coins are losing their color. It's the cursed energy expanding the environment. That's crazy, you guys. Sheesh, that's so badass. Um, her eye looks like... Ladies and gentlemen, ready to unveil... I don't know. It just looks like her eyeball to me, because I'm pretty sure her eye has the same normal slit. It's just a different color, usually. With those hazy memories, Dutch become clearer. Yeah, she has the same eye style. It's just a different color. Slightly different? I don't think so. Well, maybe maybe just the red. Oh, I guess she does have like the light color underneath with the the glow around. And then Ladies and gentlemen, ready to un Yeah, I guess I guess the design inside kind of changes. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I use too much on the JP voices. It might just be what you're used to. I really love her English voice a lot. So, fuck you guys. I am ready. I'm so ready. I can't wait. It's going to be a long week. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh, it's going to be a long week. Yeah, Allegra is killing it. She's doing amazing. Yeah. Fuck. Uh... I can't believe I told them yesterday during the collab. I was like, dude, I don't know. Robin's like one of my favorite designs. I take it back. Acheron is my favorite design. <laughs> Although to be fair, I still love Robin. Robin is so pretty. <laughs> uh, I'm usually using the as you the original voices. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's just preference. I'm just a I mean I'm sure she was. Oh my god. I can see her this morning. They they all stayed up. I think Mina stayed up to watch, but um Yeah, I uh I had to get some sleep. <laughs> I had to get some fucking sleep, you know? I I'm not a I am not a 6 a.m. kind of person. The flower when she does ult is a nice touch. I like them. Yeah. Dude, I am a sucker for this. Only when the sword is unsheathed. That those hazy memories start to become clearer. Dude, I love that she doesn't even have to unsheathe that shit to be a badass. Like, she's fucking amazing. This is where it ends. Oh, God!
God damn, you guys. It's insane. And we're getting a fucking animated short. Are you serious? That girl loves the peach. Don't we all? I want to get all up in that peach, boys. I want to get all up in that peach. <laughs> Shit. Oh my god. I want this as I hope, please. We all have to beg them. We have to beg them to release an HD version of this scene. I want this as a wallpaper. We have to beg them to release this as an HD wallpaper. This is amazing. It's so cool. It is everything I freaking love. A, a Oni demon style overpowered girl destruction black hole and just like just oh my god it's a fucking so cool i'm super excited this is insane pv and of course they tease us with this. Everyone has a past and a past. Oh dude, Black Swan's voice though. Oh my god, I'm in love with Black Swan's voice. As to shapes the present. I'm my so happy that they animated this. Quite a while. Tonight I initiate our first engagement. How about a dance? Oh god, dude, the tension. The Excuse sexual me. tension is crazy. <laughs> and then she ends up freaking destroying her. She ends up destroying her. Oh, it's insane. Holy shit. It's crazy, you guys. It goes to show that like Black Swan like did some moves though to try to get closer to Akron. She wants to peep inside those memories, you guys. She wants to peep inside those memories. She's not going to like what she sees with those memories, though. <laughs> Everyone has a past, and the past shapes the present. Oh, my God. Her has lingered on her for quite a while. Oh, Tonight my God. Initiate our first the freaking engagement. hand kiss. The pull in. Excuse me. The hug. And then she tries to peer into her soul. Are you asking? And she gets demolished. <laughs> oh my god, that's insane. Holy shit. They're so pretty together though. Oh. Their designs, they just, they go together. Oh my god, I love the Black Swan Acheron, like, thing here. This teaser's wild. They did not need to go this hard, but they did. <laughs> it's such a good combo. They go so well together. They're just two powerful women. And seeing Black Swan, who the entire time has just been this, like, all-knowing, very carefully, like, I don't know, like, not even careful, but she's, like, she teeters on this edge of being, like, very strategic, but also going with the flow and enjoying the ride. But, like, she's met her match in Acheron, you guys. She's absolutely met her match. Like, if not, like, her superior <laughs> in danger. Like, Acheron is so dangerous. And the fact that Black Swan falls to that, oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't wait for this animated short. Amazing. They're both so powerful. How about a dance? Black Swan thought she was being smooth right here, you guys. Oh my god, she thought she was being smooth right here. Oh my god. Excuse me. Are you out? That's crazy. Look at that. Her her eye changes. It goes to this like crazy. 
Is this supposed to be like uh, the symbol like on her, her sword? Her demon eye? Slowly, sl yeah, smoothly slipped into destruction. I know. Sorry, I'm looking something up. Okay, so it kind of reminds me of the death meme's eye. And I was looking it up. Hmm, it is similar, but still different. Hmm. It's, it's kind of similar, but it's still a bit different. Adventuring is the one that kind of like mentioned Acheron being an emanator. But we don't think it's of nihility. I, I, we, I, I'm fairly certain we've all pretty much like, we know it's going to be a different path. But yeah. Okay, it's a little different. It's like Blaze Eye from his trailer, The One with the Flame. I think it's even more different. I'm assuming this is like, because this is the animated short, they wanted to animate her, uh, her power form a little differently, maybe? It could be that they, uh, when she peered into her eyes, the power was released, you know? Or like going back into her past and her demon form. It could be something like that. Yeah. So, hmm. You I'm excited. Me. I'm very excited. <laughs> oh, God. Dude, the fact they're giving us... And the March 7th, like, oh, my God. The March 7th drop, you guys, that's insane. That's crazy. The fact they're going to give March 7th her own system for, like, memory-changing paths, that's badass. Dude, my girl March 7th deserves it. She deserves it. <laughs> That's so cool. She deserves it. Oh my gosh. That's badass. Nihility suits her with the black hole motive. Yeah. But the fact that she like even even her abilities can't keep up with her. Like, I don't know. It's it's so cool. I think they're going to happen on Pentaconi. I think in the Pentaconi, they're going to do something crazy for March. I feel like it'll lead into 3.0. Because they kind of said it will come in 2024. So I feel like it's going to be more like end of Pinnacone. And there's hope for Ting Yun. Ting Yun may not be dead. <laughs> She's literally glitching through space time, which is so badass. Not going to lie. How does Sam survive this? Not going to lie. Oh, pff, I don't even know. Boot Hill. They didn't mention anything about our boy Boot Hill. Like... There was no hint and no tease or anything about Boot Hill. Homie's just gonna drop into Pinnacone and fuck shit up. <laughs> Lit Homie's literally just gonna show up and start blasting. He has to appear this patch note. Yeah, because he's gonna be in 2.2. So I feel like for sure, for sure he's going to show up. You think they did? I don't think they did a boo-boo. I don't think Hoyoverse does a boo-boo. <laughs> I mean, they've been planning this shit for years, so. Uh, Boo Hill gets the identity treatment. No, they didn't. They didn't show him anywhere in here. But I mean, that I feel like well, I feel like he's gonna show up in two point one. Boo Boo Hill, Booty Hill. Like, yeah, we have no idea who the new four star is going to be. They're holding out on us. There's no way they don't design a new four star. Like, there's no way they break the mold and they're just like, eh, we didn't, you know, we didn't have another four-star character. No, there's no way. There's no way. I feel like the, I feel like they get too many people with a, a new four-star. You know how many people were like, yeah, I wanted the four-star character, so I kept pulling. And I'm like, why are you doing that? <laughs> there's no way. My favorite moment is Mommy Himiko and Daddy Wilt protecting the kids. Hmm. Uh, to be fair, Boohill's 2.2. The info is more for the next live letter. Yeah, yeah. I think we'll definitely see more in 2.2. But I wonder, uh, since he is going to be second, they may have time to introduce him in 2.2 and not 2.1. So I thought maybe he would show an appearance in 2.1 or, like, they would, like, throw him into it and be like, hey, this is what's going to happen. Like, he's going to mess things up in 2.1, but maybe they'll hold off for 2.2. 
They better not make Skrullum a four star. Skrullum's way too cool of a character to be a four star. I did like Gallagher's though. Gallagher's they turned Gallagher into a fucking Wolverine. <laughs> they turned Gallagher into a fucking Wolverine, bro. What the hell? <laughs> uh, that's crazy. Firefly, no, they would not do that. I'll quit the game. If they make Firefly a four star, I'll quit the game. I will, I will just quit. <laughs> I love Firefly, man. She's like a, she's like a fan favorite. My girl. Gallagher went from an alcoholic to an awkward dad Guardian type. Ship. He really did. I'll ruin this beautiful dream and create the grandest Firefly is not overrated. She's tragic. I love tragic girls. Ladies and gentlemen. I also love demon girls, so I love tragic girls. <laughs> oh my god. That's crazy. Damn, that's crazy, you guys. Oh. Oh. I'm a sucker for it. She has to be. She has to be important. I feel so bad. You guys spent all her money. How could you? I can't believe you spent all her money. I like the build-up they did, but the postings on social media? What do you mean, Firefly postings? It was an accident, what did you do? That's crazy. Ah! Damn, guys. Let me, uh... I only read some of it. What happened? That's crazy. I'm so excited. Oh, I didn't know I was supposed to. I only read some of it and missed that it was all her money. Wow, that's fucked up, you guys. I didn't spend all her money. <laughs> I did not do uh, anything in game yet. We literally woke up. We started watching this. This has been our life. This has been our existence today. Oh my gosh. Uh, we were going to play. We, we were going to play it today, but I'm going to be real with you guys. We're going to play Nikkei tomorrow. I um this is too this is too hype and it took a lot more time than I thought it did today. Um we're gonna do Nikkei tomorrow. Guys, I can finally look at my Discord again. <laughs> I can finally look at my own Discord again. But um Man, that was crazy. What a good... What did you guys think? Was that a good live stream or what? I hope that they uh, keep doing this kind of... My game's a little loud. I hope they keep doing this kind of, like, production value for these live streams. It's insane. Uh, I am in a pitiful... Pres I want to pull 100% Akron, but today when they announced Loach and Jing Liu... I know! They really did that to everyone. They put Luocha with freaking Agarine. I can't believe they did that. Also, rip to all the leakers who got it wrong. <laughs> oh, man. Minnie pointed it out. Wait, Minnie, what, what did you point out? What was it? Let's see. Uh, they knew what people wanted when it forced their wallets. Yeah, best live stream. I know the live streams keep getting better and better. I love like the little sets that they set up. Um, let me see. Description on the new 1.2.1 website for Acheron. So just the Honkai Star Rail website? What are you guys talking about? Link it to me. Hoyoverse? Oh, that? The version update. Hold on. Okay, Huawa! Chill! Chill! Everything is fine! You can find it in-game, but I'm fucking lazy! I'm the streamer! You're supposed to just link everything to me. <laughs> is it official communities? Are you talking about this one?
Wait, what are you talking about? The notice tab. Notices. Oh. Version update. 2.1 highlights page. Check it out. Clocky. Hold on. Oh my god, these websites are fucking garbage. How universe, you're the fucking best, but your website sucks. Dear God. Okay, this is like the... The, uh, overview, I guess. Go to the Akron and characters here. This one? They la they're so bad on website. You can share the page, you can get 20. Okay, nice, you can get 20 uh, character stories. Mm hmm That's kind of cool that they have this like on here. Combat roles. Acheron is a DPS character who accumulates charges by inflicting debuffs on enemies to unleash her ultimate. Yeah. With her ultimate, she ignores enemy weakness type drains all enemies toughness and reduces their type resistance all right so she's pretty fucking insane <laughs> if you just click share up and sort of yeah yeah i know i'm just gonna wait until like i don't show you guys accidentally anything of my personal stuff on twitter <laughs> uh that's kind of badass the technique can also instantly they kind of talked about it a bit they they did go over a little bit of this in the uh, live stream but it was hard to uh it was kind of hard to follow because it was all text but yeah, brute force is just real with her. That's insane. She's going to ignore enemy weakness type, which is fucking insane. She's going to drain all the enemy's toughness. And I'm assuming uh, the drain and then the reduce is going to be like certain turns on the debuff. Let's see. And then Zesterine. It says that he is the senior manager of the strategic investment department and one of the 10 stone hearts. His core stone is the adventuring of stratagems. I didn't realize there was going to be 10 of them. I knew they were all named after like the different like gems, but I didn't know there was 10 of them. Maybe I missed that detail. Skip for me. Dude, he's going to be a badass sustain. Adventuring. Now we have 10 infinities that they said it before. I must have just forgot. I'm really bad at remembering a lot of the little details. Adventuring is a defensive character to provide a stackable shield effect called Fortified Wager for all allies and increases the effect resistance. Nice. Uh, additionally, adventuring can accumulate charges through various means and trigger follow-up attacks. They didn't list on here the crit damage thing where his ultimate applies the, uh, the debuff to the enemies and it increases your allies crit damage on the enemy. I'm surprised they didn't include that part. So he will have stackable shields. He'll have his own follow-up attacks. He'll have, which also, you know, add to the stackable shields. He increases effect resistance of allies and his ultimate applies a debuff that increases crit damage for his teammates. So he's going to be a really good sustain if you need a sustain. <laughs> Louis is getting replaced. I'm going to be real. You dreamt that? No, they said it in the live stream. They, they literally showed it in the live stream. I, I've never talked about or looked at leaks before, so. I think they're holding off the actual stats, yeah. I was just surprised they didn't add it since they showcased that in the stream. He's kinda, I, I don't know, I'm excited to see how he plays. And I'm a big follow-up enjoyer. I don't know, I um. they have different roles. Foo versus, I feel like Zesterine's actually, depending on how well he plays and how well those shields and everything increases, he may end up competing with Fu, or if not better. Like, I, I think, uh, I think he's gonna have a long-term place as a sustain and, uh, provide more damage opportunity for his allies, but we'll see, we'll see. Gallagher, my boy. Gallagher is a support character, and it's so weird that... Oh, oh my god, Gallagher. Gallagher is a support character with offensive capabilities. His ultimate can attack all enemy targets, causing them to fall into the besotted state, while also strengthening his next basic attack. When allies attack besotted enemies, the attacker's health is restored. He's like a mini Luocha. I mean, does he have a cleanse protect? Are you talking about Zesterine? 
Um, he increases effect resistance of the allies. So, I mean, that at least there's that. But it's not going to be like a two-turn immune. But he does increase effect resistance. I think the difference that's going to make him competable with Fu is the fact that he does raise crit damage for your allies. So, I think that is going to be... Um, something that people value while Fu does Fu does have the the cleanse protect or whatever um and she has the heal capability i really think people are going to uh enjoy that crit damage increase they showed it in the live stream that his ultimate places a debuff on the enemies and raises your allies crit damage i mean we can double check just to make sure i'm not making it up but yeah, they talked about it. But um, Fu has the E two. I I I feel like I always like to compare things like E zero because as much as we love getting E twos, sometimes E twos can cost you four hundred plus dollars, <laughs> and that is not the majority of the player base. So I always like to compare these characters without their idolons in a, a budget friendly free to play sense, and for the majority of the player base. So I think when comparing them at E0, um, it's it's very important to do that. Like that way you can talk about the main appeal. Yeah. Even E even E1, you know, like if you lose a 50-50 and you only get an E0 at max pulls, like that's harsh on anyone's wallet. Uh let's see. Where did they do it? They showed. Acheron's kit, and then they showed Zesterines, right? Where was it? Oh my god, it's so hard to know. Like, maybe it was after they talked about the animated short. There, there's Zest there's Zesterine. Okay. Okay. The biggest feature is his skill, where he can apply a stackable special shield for the entire team, so you can see the shield stacked on. It accumulates a charge point on blind bet, and when blind bet reaches a certain amount, the follow-up attack is triggered. Same time, the follow-up attack can once again apply the stackable shield to the team. Simply getting hit with the shield results in the follow-up attack, which then reapplies the shield. So it's kind of a cycle, yeah. And then his ultimate grants him random blind bet points. And deals damage to a single enemy target. And his ultimate can inflict a debuff on the enemy. When the team attacks the target affected by the debuff, they deal increased crit damage. So I feel like that's gonna be I, I feel like that's gonna be pretty good for like MOC, personally. But <laughs> maybe maybe I'm maybe I'm coping. I'm not sure. Um, I suddenly got this strange uh, NSU and swarm, especially if you're gonna have to be doing like uh, and for the monkey, just like big boss ones. The shields seem really strong for sure. Like the cycle for the shield seems really great. And then I feel like if you're having an issue getting very high HP single target bosses down, he's gonna he's gonna offer. Uh, that crit damage increase, which I feel like is going to be really helpful for, especially for people lacking uh, uh, the damage to get through stuff. But then again, he, he and he does deal damage. But then again, ov obviously some people, the buff is only on the ulted enemy. Yeah, the debuff. The, uh, he also has to do some damage with his follow up too, right? Yeah, it sounds like he's going to have a little bit of a sub DPS role. They're focusing a lot on crit damage recently. Shields will reflect the damage for that. Yeah, that'll be really good too. I get the urge to play again every single time. 
I'm excited. I think he's going to fit in well with some teams. I like Fu, but I feel like often I feel like Fu is literally just there for her goddamn field. <laughs> like, and I know that's important because you don't want people to get CC'd. But, dude, whenever she does her little dinky ass attacks, I love her animations. Like, for real, I love her animations. Um, she's just standing there menacingly. I love her. She's a she's an amazing kit and the survivability is amazing for her but damn dude she she amps up that that old animation and then she just does like dinky ass noodle damage and i'm like ah shit okay <laughs> and then she has like kind of that downfall where just like aoe just smokes her you know but i feel like this is badass i feel like he's gonna be a great he's gonna be a great option uh alternatively because those stackable shields seem pretty good um yeah her e6 makes her two damage <laughs> yeah just just invest a thousand dollars uh that's silly um i feel like the stackable shields is kind of cool i like the follow-up capability i i think i think it'll just be fun to see him doing more and then uh the crit damage increase on a single target with that ultimate can really help you push out more damage so and then the the technique gives the entire team a chance to get a defense boost of varying strength which is kind of cool i think it's cool it's a unique kit i think it's a very unique kit so i'm excited i like it yeah he's got his own role for sure i'm a big fan <laughs> And I'm a big, I'm a big follow-up enjoyer. So Jafar's full tank of entries, the hybrid follow-up attack, sub DPS tank. Yeah, they've got different niches for sure. Um, so I, I'm a fan. <laughs> I like it. It's just a survey. Oh no. Oh, it's the 20 credits. Let me do that real quick. Is it bad that I'm slightly more excited we finally have a male character without a baby face? <laughs> like a guy with stubble? No, I think that was like a huge point of Gallagher. People really like that about Gallagher. <laughs> so true though. I don't think Blade had much of a baby face. I think he wasn't very baby face. <laughs> My boy Blade, you know? I mean, what do you mean? Gallagher just has, you're so right. Gallagher has, Gallagher has a whole ass, like mature dad vibe to him. <laughs> like I do appreciate it very much. Um, goodness. Let me just, I just wanted to log in to claim my codes cause I did not claim my codes either. Let me double check. Make sure you guys claim these codes. If you haven't, they don't they don't last very long. So um, usually they're like 15 hours from or like, I don't know, maybe 24 hours. I don't know. So make sure you make sure you claim those codes today. Oh, they were 28 hours when they first launched. I see. I always forget. I always remember like 10 p.m. at night and I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. I know I always forget to do the app, dude. I'm bad about it. <laughs> and I'm using my I'm using my app for my VTuber, so or my phone for my VTuber. Alright, how many of you guys have been trying to, to get pre-farmed for Akron? Because I have it and now I'm really regretting it. <laughs> I I have it and now I'm kind of regretting it. Um started today me too okay i think i have i have 245 xp materials and i have 428 blues so did did you partake in the hoyo cre content creator program they have like different ones there's like there's like one where you can sign up as a creator and it just kind of like encompasses everyone that streams and then they have an official like hoyo partner creator thing which most people don't get into like they kind of extend the offer i am not a part of that but one day i hope to be a part of it but i think they look more for like pretty big streamers and guide makers and stuff like that so i don't know we'll see i'm i'm very much a let's play and reactionary um streamer uh 
I don't have the I just don't have the emotional capacity to do like a shit ton of uh um like YouTube and stuff like that. I just saw Boxy get like 5k because he's in there. No, I definitely am not a part of that. <laughs> um I don't I I am I have not been a part of that. So I'm a little jealous. Don't get me wrong. I'm I'm slightly a little jealous right now, but <laughs> bruh. bruh, I wish. Yeah, I, I unfortunately don't do content much outside of uh, Twitch streaming. And I know a lot of those guys get like, because they're pretty popular and they do like YouTube and they have really good connections and stuff. Well, they make good content too. So um, I know a lot of it is YouTube. I, I think you really have to do a lot of content outside of YouTube and do content on other platforms. But I'm exhausted, so I get exhausted just streaming. I don't think I'm gonna pre-farm because I need to win the 50-50. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the spirit ones. Yeah, these ones. Heading out. Good night, Siphon. Get some rest. The last Crimson Calyx. Are you talking about this one? I have four. <laughs> I have four of those. I do have 34 of these. I did do them a couple of times yesterday, so I have some. I have four, 34, and 38. Uh, we're gonna have to do some of these. Let's do some doubles on these. Yeah. I I admit, until today, I was kind of like, oh, I'll pull, you know, I'll pull on Akron. Like, obviously, I pull on the characters. And I, um, I was like, A0 is kind of fine. But now I'm kind of like, oh, shit. Maybe I, uh... Maybe I maybe I go for a little little bit more on on Acheron now. <laughs> Break the enemy's strategy, Jing Yuan. That's what you. I am zero, so I think you're ahead of me. Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. E2 is always sure kind of good, though. <laughs> I guess it would just come down to winning or not. I I'm at a point where like. If I lose all my 50-50s, I don't want to spend a shit ton of money anymore. Like, I love the characters, but there's always going to be another oh badass God. character. Like, seriously. Um... There's always going to be another badass character. And so, like, oh god. Losing the 50-50s is so painful. Just E6! No, I don't want to clear E6! 139 purple, 69 blues, and 18 greens. We're getting there. <laughs> We've got four purples. <laughs> yeah, basically every character they released is strong too. Yeah. And I feel like already having just decent DPS and having like, you know, a sustain, you're pretty good, right? Yeah, but it's cool to have a juice character. Doesn't make content too easy as well. You guys would think... I think people really overestimate how much money we make. <laughs> like... Uh, I mean, there's some creators that are making really good money, but I'm gonna be real with you guys. Even with decent viewership and content that I put out, I don't make much money streaming. So, <laughs> I, um, whales, whales that say it's easy content, they either have like another, another job or they're just like making really good money doing other stuff or I, you can only write off so much money though, you know? And taxes hurt on top of it. <laughs> I don't mean content like that. I mean content in the game, though. No, I think people get bored with E6. You know how many people, like... Most people, I feel like, just get bored seeing you blast through content in 30 minutes. I think people get bored when you literally just shit on things on, like, a minute, and they're just like, okay, good job. I need your Jing Yuan. I think Sparkle. I think Sparkle made Jing Yuan so much crazier. We did get three. That's nice. Oh, we got four of them. Holy shit. Four purples in one go. Are you kidding me? I also, um... I've realized... I realized that, um... When I started getting, like, stronger characters and I did, like, E2s and E4s and stuff like that, whenever people would ask me, like, what, what they, a lot of people would want help with the game, and they'd be like, oh, what, what team comps can I do? You know, I'm free to play and I just had these E0s and stuff like that. I had a really hard time 
remembering um at like easier level like what what team comps are good and like how characters perform so like it was really hard to it's always really hard to manually be like okay my jing yuan is like e zero jing yuan without sparkle and without his light cone it's painful like it's it's legit painful but i have e2 jing yuan i have his light cone i have sparkle and so he's really fun and he's really good but if you just have e0 and you don't have his light cone and you don't have sparkle and you don't have a harmony buff buffer like he's kind of painful you know like he's kind of painful so i don't know i thought about starting a free-to-play account so that i can do more stuff at, at e0 with limited characters but i don't want to go through the story again i'm so lazy yeah, I wish you could toggle, like, your eye- Like, if you get Eidolons, I wish you could toggle them on or off. Like, people would still roll for them anyway if they wanted them, but at times you could challenge yourself. I love going through the story. I hate replaying stuff. I hate it so much. Uh, if one character slows, it's very boring for you. Comp barely matters. Yeah. Just play on. The, I have it started on the other server, but you still have to go through the whole damn story. I made it to like midway Bellabog, and I was like, ah, fuck. <laughs> I'm just spamming through it. You did Panic Honey three times? That's insane. I already pulled Sparkle and 90. 180 pulls safer Akron. Nice. You're set. You did it twice. That's insane. You can skip and just do the battles. Yeah, but it still takes time. I did all my double got zero purple. I know I'm getting lucky. I'm sorry, guys. This doesn't normally happen to me. I'm not being very relatable right now. Can you find the answer? Guys, it's not I'm not being very relatable. Look at all my purples. <laughs> Streamer, what are you doing? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I need to do it sometime. I did fall into that whole, like, I pulled too much and spent too much on my characters, so not even too much, but having Eidolons makes this game significantly easier, which is expected, right, when you get Eidolons, but sometimes I feel like, uh, I can't I, I kind of get it now like for a while there I was really into the like oh I like big numbers but now I'm kind of like oh it's not very it's not very fun anymore <laughs> is this what they call vtuber buff uh apparently I've never had relic vtuber buff can you find the answer I don't have much motive, and you can get big numbers with easier as well. Yeah, I haven't had much motivation to learn how to like manual the game better. Like I still can, but some of the characters, like I, I'm not good with like Zila and stuff like that, and like timing on ultimates. I haven't had much motivation to learn to manual play the game because, uh, unfortunately, the wallet warriors make it where I don't have to. So. <laughs> But I, I kind of do want to do the free-to-play game and then like get better at manualing and timing things better. I think I'd have a better understanding of a lot of stuff if I did that, you know? I think I still have a... Pff, well, damn. The last one failed us. You guys, the Kiri still has nightmares about manual mode in Nikkei. <laughs> Running Dot is also just sitting back and waiting. Yeah, there's a relic roll pattern. Someone on YouTube made a sheet explaining how to manipulate relic rolls. There ain't no way. I've seen people go 0 to 15 and it all hit crit damage. When I do that, it all rolls into defense. Um, having you on E2 also makes new characters feel weaker by comparison unless you invest on them. That's so true. Uh, I simply did because I wanted to build and play other units while also feeling like I had nothing to do on main. That's true too. I do, I do feel like uh, I get into this trap where every time I get this new character, I, I just like can only build one or two characters at a time for like a, a patch. Because it's hard to get materials unless you spend even more. Like the XP materials and stuff. I'm already doing like my battle pass. I farm a little bit for it. I think it'd be easier just to build some characters on a different account. I mean, I've, I've, I've built quite a bit. Like this is, this is my progress. And I have spent money on refreshing XP materials. 
And I've gotten most of them to 80 now, as far as like the five stars. But my four stars are non-existent. My four stars are non-existent. That's why I started skipping banners, not stressed out. Yeah. I don't like to FOMO a lot. <laughs> that's that's fair. But yeah. It's been good. I, I'm still really happy with the game. Even even after playing like this last year, I'm still really happy with the game. I do think relics, I gave up on relics for the most part. Like, I'm gonna be real. Relic farming was so depressing. I've seen so many people get crazy, crazy good relics. And I've gotten maybe three in the last year. <laughs> like, my relics are terrible. My relics are fucking awful. Like, half of them, half of them just get like the shittiest pieces. Like, they're, they're mid. Like, most of them are very mid. Like, this one turned out okay. Oh, cage. I mean, it, it rolled two and two, but they were pretty minimal rolls. But this, this was terrible. My crit damage bodies on all my characters are fucking garbage. All of them. I don't have a good crit damage body for everyone. For anyone. To this day, I have not rolled a good crit damage body. This one rolled all into attack percent. Couldn't even hit crit damage. Like, are you fucking serious? Like, are you serious? Like, really? Look at these rolls. These are terrible. This, this is awful. This is awful, though. <laughs> this is awful. That's my boy. I think my IL is the one I farm the most for. Trying to get double crit pointers is just been Munka. It's really painful. Let's see. So, I farm the most for IL. And this was when I was really obsessed with farming. Uh... So this was the best one I got. <laughs> I got I did get some a roll into crit damage and two into like crit rate, but it rolled into a flat defense. Do you think that once you clear MC12, you don't have to worry about FOMO anymore? No, the FOMO is always there because everyone else everyone else kind of gets you into FOMO. Okay, this musketeer piece is actually pretty cool. I did get speed rolls and crit damage rolls. Um this was like one of the few but i got i got crazy with it it has hp and defense on it and i said fuck it i rolled it and it rolled into speed damage um i feel like the fomo is always there because people like people kind of like still put pressure on you because they'll be like you'll see everyone else getting like these really cool characters and like all these team comps and you see how everyone else clears stuff it can really like kind of feed into like damn i need this character or maybe i want this other character and then they keep increasing the difficulty so like they're adding they add they add like they added like those most recent MOC floors at the end and then the enemies get harder and then there's different gimmicks to the enemies like the shield monkey. So like the FOMO kind of is always lurking there because of like increases in difficulty and stuff like that. And then like all the new kits and stuff like that just kind of outshine the old kits. Um but I think you really just have to try your best to fight the FOMO. This game very much these these games very much focus on FOMO. Yeah. Let's see. So here's another crit damage body. It's garbage. I have no good crit damage bodies. I'm a dolphin. Have every character but Zila and it still bothers me a little bit. I don't have her. That's the worst part. That's where I'm at. I'm in like this collector's mentality where I'm like, I need to just like start skipping characters because I don't need them. I already have too many characters. But like when I skip the character, I know it's going to bug me. I'm going to be like, I've had every character up to this point. I'm not going to have that character and it's going to fuck up my collection. And that's the worst mentality to have in these games, you guys. It's the worst mentality to have. Fucking Sparkle! But I'm actually kind of glad I pulled Sparkle. Okay, these aren't these aren't bad attack boots. They did roll into crit rate and crit damage. But they did roll one into flat HP. And then this unfortunately I did get I did get rolls into crit damage, but it rolled two into flat HP. I'm just happy I got crit damage on his uh orb. And then this is an absolutely insane speed piece for an attack rope, but that's like it. <laughs> I mean, they're still decent. Like, I've gotten some decent relics that I can't complain about. Um, like, I'll take 10 speed. Like, that's pretty crazy. But, like, man, I see some people get, like, perfect pieces, right? It's insane. And I'm like, are you, are you, like, God's favorite? Are you, are you RNG's favorite? That's insane. 
I've never even seen double digits. Well, apparently it can happen. <laughs> Do you think there's any characters you pulled that you think you could have skipped Silver Wolf? I know people hate hearing me say that, but I I actually 100% could have just skipped Silver Wolf. I've never used her. I put too much money into her. I I I very rarely use her. I like different team comps way too much. And then Argenti. I know Argenti. Argenti is neat and he's very helpful for some things. Like there's like pure fiction. Like he's really good in pure fiction, but I won't ever use him outside of it. <laughs> I don't like his kit at all. Like, I don't like, I didn't like his animations. I don't really like his kit. Um, I think outside of like pure fiction, just it's whatever. Like he's one. Um... I still have a soft spot for Zila, so I can't complain about Zila. But yeah, Silver Wolf's like the main one that I don't really use. But yeah, Argenti, Argenti is just a uh... thing. Is even though Silver Wolf will, I'm still not gonna use her. I don't like her character. I don't like her kit. I, I just, I'm not gonna use her. I couldn't deal with Silver Wolf easier. I had to get her E2 to enjoy her as a sub DPS. Yeah, I can clear all content. So I'm fine with my relics. I also feel like I'm really lucky with relics. I wish I had better relic luck. It's taken me so long. It's taken me months of farming to get decent pieces. Um, but that's the beauty, right? Different different playstyles for different people. I think a lot of people really like Silver Wolf, which is why she's really popular. But um, oh yeah, dude, I'll run. I'll run Black Swan with Aggron just for the lore accuracy, baby. Let's go. I will put them together just to, just because of the, the their dance. <laughs> um, I think that's the beauty is like having different playstyles. I'm really glad that um, they put more into like the follow up team stuff because for a while there it just felt like dot dot dot. Like everyone's like, oh, dot's the meta, dot's the meta. And uh, I'm, I'm really happy to have all these follow up units. I love follow up units so much. Oh, the new debuff set? Yeah. I, I have not farmed it because I hate farming for it and getting watchmakers. And Topaz. I love Topaz. Topaz is a character. Actually, this is a Topaz is a character that I pulled that I thought I would hate. And she was one of my FOMO pulls. Like Topaz was the very first character that I was like, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna skip. I think I'm gonna skip. Uh her kit kind of gave me motion sickness with how fast Numbi is and like all the flashing animations. And I didn't really care for Numbi at first. So she was the first one where I was just like, I don't really want her. And then I had FOMO hit me where I was like, I can't skip a character. I can't. And I got her and she's actually one of my, she's one of my favorite characters to play. I actually really love Topaz. Topaz has a soft spot for me. She's the only, she's the only character I've ever made a guide for. <laughs> I love Topaz. I love the Topaz. Yeah, and then they gave us ratio. Oh, actually, I'm glad they gave us ratio because for free, because I he is a character I wouldn't have pulled on. He annoys me. I like I like how fast he plays with Topaz, but I wouldn't have pulled on him. <laughs> I want. I had to get so fast. I wanted her for the Jing Yuan team. She's so fun, and she just like I don't know the the triggering back and forth. The follow ups is so fun. I love him in every aspect. I don't see myself ever pulling a Stoneheart. So far, I greatly dislike both of them. That's totally fair. They have very unique positions in the story, and their kits are interesting. <laughs> Look at this dork. <sighs> not the smudge. Not the smudge on his on his freaking book. Risho Hypercarry is the best character in MSA. It's crazy to think about him. He is pretty nutty, but I'm glad they gave it to it for free. Hey, he has eight doctor degrees. He's a total dork. <laughs> hmm. I haven't put it, I haven't invested in him at all. Like he still has like a 70 cruising. Half of his, like his traces are just non-existent. He's got no relics. <laughs> Let's see. My IL has fallen off for me. I'm going to be real. I was like a husbando enjoyer only for a while. I actually don't use the Wocha that much anymore. I actually use Hua Hua more than I use the Wocha. I just really like having Hua Hua and Mr. Tail on my, uh, 
on my team. So I actually use Hua Hua much more. And I have an E2 Luocha, but I also have an E2 Hua Hua. Or E1 Hua Hua, sorry. But she's adorable. She grew on me a lot. When she first was announced, I was like, oh, I don't give a shit. But then I pulled on her and I love Mr. Tail and her character has grown on me a lot. So I use her over Luocha. And then... Um... See, I still love the Sparkle and Ruan May as Harmony characters. Those two are just so cool. <laughs> I didn't really use Kafka until I got Black Swan. I really like Kafka and Black Swan together. They're a lot of fun. And then I leveled Himiko because I pulled her early on. I was using her pretty often in like SU and stuff. But my main was hmm. IO. I I use IO so much because he's my he was my highest like limited Eidolon. I actually don't use IO that much anymore, which is kind of crazy to me because I've invested the most in him. But even even with his Eidolons and the advance forward and the free cast, he still just feels so consuming on teams. Like, it's just him. It's just all about him, you know? I know, the E3. Yeah, I know, I have the E3. But he still just feels so consuming. But Sparkle makes it better. It's just... I don't like him as much anymore. I think IL... I think IL fall off, fell off for me as a character. I think just, like, Don Hung lost his... Lost his, like... Factor for me. <laughs> like, he's cool, but Don Hung who? Like... I yell who? My boy Blade will always be my my number one. I don't think anyone is gonna beat Blade for me. He's just so cool. I don't like characters for teams on them in general. Yeah. Maybe that's just me. I don't feel like that. Maybe that's just me. Well, that's the crazy thing is that different play styles and different character designs different character just des like personalities and and whatnot and team comps will make people feel differently and uh i yell just i don't know it doesn't do it for me acheron's on top <laughs> everyone better appreciate acheron though we are at number one acheron enjoyers here now <laughs> Blade is number one has bond though. Yes. Blade is my number also Kiri Boo Hill is my new number one. Yeah, he was my new number one for like 10 minutes after I I when I got done like drooling for Boot Hill and the razor teeth and the black and white hair, I remembered Blade existed, so <laughs> come on! Look at Boot Hill's razor teeth, you guys. Come on! I gotta look. Hold on. He looks so cool. Oh my gosh, they posted so much on, on their Twitter today. Damn, they really out here. Like, look at this man. Come on. Like, he's, he's kind of edgy looking too. So, like, he kind of has, like, a bleed edginess to him with, like the black low lights in the white hair i'm also a sucker for white haired characters like he just he has razor teeth he's got shark teeth and he has black eyeliner like all the other characters have had some kind of like eyeliner like look at like like they have some kind of eyeliner um oh my god i just realized Blade also has black eyeliner. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, sorry. Um, but like Io has like the color eyeliner. He's got like the red. He's got the red. And where's Welt? Welt ain't got shit, right? Welt's just Welt. Right? Welt's just Welt. He also has the red highlight on Dr. Ratio. He also has like the brownish red highlight on Argenti. Let's see, who else? I think that's it. Wait, where's Luca? Luca, Luca's, Luca's not a, a highlighter enjoyer. 
I think that's it. And then there's Normal Dawn, who has the same. But, like, they gave Boot Hill the cat, like, the cat eye eyeliner. Like, it's sharp. And then he's got this, like, under eyeliner right here with the two dots. They gave him a very shark-like look. He's got, like, the cat eye eyeliner. And that's freaking amazing. <laughs> I'm a sucker for it. So, oh, God. For just a moment, I was like, okay, Boot Hill, Boot Hill's nice. And then you see Stefan down here. <laughs> Stefan's fucking comment cracked me up. Tie me up and spit on me, Boot Hill. Step on me. I have no clue who you are, but that's okay. <laughs> it was so good. I was uh, enjoying it. Goodness. All right. The eyeliner industry booming in the Star Rail universe. I know. It really do be. It really do be. Um, oh, I had a great time. The live stream. A Gojo fan? Dude, I freaking love Gojo. Who's not a Gojo fan? Who's not a Gojo fan? The edit that gave him a regular human torso is pretty wild. <laughs> I like that he's a cyborg. That's pretty cool. All right, you guys. I, uh... I'm pretty happy with the live stream today. I had a really good time watching that. That was super exciting. Big fan. Big fan. If only I hadn't pulled for Sparkle, I would go for Robin. I'm excited to see how Robin plays, but... I'm gonna be real. I'm getting burned out of Harmony characters. Like, I have... I already have so many Harmony characters. But I guess that's part of the game. I mean, there's only so many paths, so... I just don't know if I'll use... Are you gonna pull for Acheron? Oh, 100%. 100%. Absolutely. Sparkle's a character I hated, but now I love, and I hate that I love her. <laughs> I hate that I love her. Oh, our cute little racist. <laughs> God damn it. God damn. More OP Harmony characters, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna pull for Akron for sure. She's, she's fucking amazing. She's badass. Um, absolutely badass. So, it was even better getting to watch it with everyone here. Yeah, thank you so much for, uh... Thank you so much for watching the live stream with me. It means a lot. I, I always watch later in the day, so everyone kind of has already seen it for the most part. But thank you guys for watching it with me. It, it always means, like, a ton. 